Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Old World Battle Report today. Stephen Luca here from MiniWarGaming.com, bringing you Old World content. It is going to be Dark Elves against Empire today, and your Empire list is just... It's all cab, bro. All cab. No wizard either. No wizard. We have the warrior priest on the altar. Anti wizard. Anti wizard. We got anti wizard. So he has the, like some. Uh, he messes with my casting a little bit here and there. Uh, so this is gonna be a pretty standard game. We will be doing a command and control scenario in this 2,000 point match, which I'll go into a little bit of details later. But I would like to thank our sponsor for today. It is Wayland Games. It is a household name that I'm sure many, many, many of you have heard, especially over in the UK. Uh, they offer competitive pricing for all of your war gaming needs and much more beyond just wargaming as well. So thank you, Wayland Games, for sponsoring these kinds of battle reports. I greatly appreciate it, and so does Mini Wargaming. All right, let's take a look at this empire list for today. Almost 2,000 points, led by a general of the empire on an imperial griffin. He does wear the bedazzling helmet, all those plumes, this bedazzling, and the white cloak. He has full plate armor and a great weapon. And another character we got is our Lector of Stigmar on the war altar. So he does have the silver horn for extra charging abilities and a talisman of protection and a great weapon. And our third character will be our captain of the empire to be a BSB. He's got the Dawnstone and the biting blade, otherwise full plate armor and a bar Warhorse. In core, we have a unit of nine Empire Knights, full command and lances, and two more units of Empire Knights, six strong, full command and lances. Over in special, we got a unit of five demi grip knights uh, with full plate armor and lances. We got a unit of two units of pistoliers and a unit of outriders. And that is 2,000 points of the Empire. All right, here's version two of my like standard Dark Elf build. It's evolving every game. We are gonna be led by a Dark Elf Dreadlord equipped with a full plate shield. Uh, he has the Pendant of Kaleth and a giant blade to make him a little bit better at fighting, maybe. Uh, next to him, we are gonna be running a Supreme Sorceress, a level four wizard on a Dark Pegasus. She'll have the Black Staff the Dark Elf Magic Item makes her a very accomplished caster, as well as the obvious Ruby Ring of Ruin. And today, I randomized what lore she's going to roll. I want. I just want to try out Elementalism. Well, I rolled Elementalism, and I'm glad to try it out. Moving on to my core options, I have a Brick of 21 at Dark Elf Warriors. Honestly, could only afford Musician and Standard Bear, but I made them veterans. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have a champion. I will be running a unit of 10 Black Art Corsairs with repeater hand bows and one musician. And then, of course, two Dark Rider units of five. Now, because we're playing 2,000 points, they could both be upgraded with Fire and Flea and Scouts. Uh, unfortunately, because of Steve's list, I was too afraid to scout near him. And I will have a musician in both squads. The last element to my list will be a Brick of 21 Black Guard of Nagarond, acting as the Honor Guard for the Dreadlord. Uh, they're going to have exactly what you think being um, full command and the banner of Harganath an amazing 25 point banner gives them uh, extra AP on their dread halberds and I bought them the drilled upgrade I had the points for it it might help it might not we have one cold one chariot in today's list it can't take any upgrades and seven cold one knights upgraded to have full plate armor and we did give them full command. The last element to my list, nothing too exciting, a pair of repeater bolt, reaper bolt throwers. Might as well talk about the mission now. Command, I, I keep calling command and control. I think it's called command and control. It's the old watchtower mission. Uh, so with that, we have an objective in the middle. Back in the day, it would be a watchtower. They let you pick kind of any of the special features in the book. Now we're fighting in the dark woods in the empire over an arcane monolith. So you need at least the unit strength five to control it. It is worth an extra 50 victory points. Sorry, it's worth an extra 250. Yep. It, it itself is worth 50, plus the mission scenario. So whoever controls this gains an extra 250 points at the end of the game. Otherwise, it's a battle line mission. So our battle lines are drawn. We're able to deploy 12 inches up from the long table edge, opposite one another. And I'll go over my deployment here. On my left, I am running my Cold One Chariot. I have my Black Arc Corsairs in the woods. They have Muther cover, so they're good to play in there. Dark Riders in the back. I did buy them Scout, but Steve's forces uh, are a little too threatening. They can get to me too quickly, and they can just gun them down. I got my Brick of Dread Spears. Dark Elf Warriors with Spears, sorry. Reaper Voltor with the second one not too far away. Our Sorceress is right in the middle. I don't really like that deployment too much. I should have probably protected her a bit more, but we'll see. And then the Black Guard of Nagarond with our Dreadlord. He is in the unit as well, just kind of hanging on the front rank there. We have our Cold One Knights, and lastly, our Dark Riders over here. I have nothing in ambush. 
push off across the knights over here, I have my Outriders already vanguarded forward. And then my four flanks, I have my Pistoliers. Now my General's hiding behind the ruins for now with the Arch Lector, sorry, the Lector of Stigma ready to go beeline towards that wizard. All my Inner Circle Knights are on my right flank. My Demigrits are going to, on their own, hold up my left. And I think they can do that job. Right. And then otherwise, the way you win this scenario is uh, you calculate victory points as normal by killing the enemy, getting the enemy in general, getting their banners, and then you just gain, if you happen to control the monolith in the middle, you're awarded an extra 250 points. And on top of that, the unit that controls the monolith gains magic resistance one, if they don't already have magic resistance, and wizards can reroll ones when they cast. I believe yep. it's like once I'll have to look into that a little bit further. I won't be benefiting from that. My wizard's gonna be it says the wizard that controls that gets to do that. My wizard's not gonna be anywhere near the middle. All right, let's just roll off. That's it. Yeah, well, I deployed, uh, I had to deploy over here first. Steve picked that side, I started deploying first, but Steve, I beat you in drops, mm -hmm. technically, I think. Oh, the scouts cheat and help a little bit with that. I'm gonna steal Dave's dice here because I don't have my roll? dice on me. Okay. If we had one, Dark Elves. Yeah. Now, I did forget to mention what spells my uh, sorcerers got. I mentioned Elementalism. I, t I dropped the Mystical Pathway spell, even though it's really, really, just to bother Steve, it's a really good spell. So I took uh, Orange of Paul's Black Horror as a signature instead. Fair. Uh, I randomized Plague Rust, Summon Elemental Spirit, and Wind Blast. Now, I was, to be fair, maybe that's maybe you want to hunker down and that spell's be less useful against my list anyway. I think I'm going to end up hunkering down against yeah, what's fair, going fair, on fair, here. Fair yeah. So I ended, uh, well, the spells don't matter anymore. That's what I have. I will do two stupidity checks. So I have, uh, that's what's going to fail my yeah, I, I, holding I'm... back is my stupidity <laughs> checks. I have a cold one chariot and cold one knight that both have to do stupidity checks. Luckily, they're veteran elves or leadership nine. True. So I'm going to start my leadership check with my cold one knights first. Uh, they are going to pass. Luckily, I'm just going to roll quickly for the chariot, which will also pass. And uh, I have nothing to really do my command phase. I have one hex with my Supreme Sorceress, but it's uh, 21 inch range, so we're too far away right now. So that'll be it. We're going to go to my movement phase. Well, I hate this part about elves, but it's uh, the way it's got to be. I'm not going to move too much here. Uh, the only thing I'm really going to move is my sorceress a little bit, which is kind of scary because I'm going to move her in this direction and we got some shooters over there and we don't like shooters, but we have to deal with the shooters because I got to bring you to me and I don't want to bring you to me, but I got to do that anyway. So that's what, all we're going to really do is keep our infantry where they are. I'm going to move up the, the chariot a little bit over here by simply doing a move of seven right on up maybe even a little bit further back. We're gonna have the Corsairs. Um, they're gonna move to the edge, they're gonna march. They have moved through cover, they don't care about the woods slowing them down. They're not gonna go the full 10, they're just gonna stay on the outskirts of the woods. And the Dark Riders are gonna hide. Oh, sorry, we got stuck here. The Dark Riders are gonna hide behind the woods. Otherwise, staying there. And these Dark Riders are gonna stay over there. We're gonna move our Supreme Sorceress to the right side of the battlefield. She only moves 10 if I want her to shoot her magical spells and stuff. So we're gonna have her fly from here to there. We're gonna put pressure on the, what are they called? The outriders. outriders. Those are outriders, yep. Otherwise, everything's gonna kinda stay where it is. You know what? These dark riders are gonna come out as well. They are gonna move five and four. They got skirmish formation. I don't love risking these guys over here, but we're gonna do it anyways. We're going to start the shooting phase off with our cold... I keep wanting to call it a Scourge Runner Chariot. But the other the, one. Is that the one with horses on it? Yep. It's weird. It's like that weird bad high elf chariot with horses on it. <laughs> Tyranoc Chariot? Yep. Man, that's it. All right. Anyways, we're, they have a pair of uh, repeater crossbows. We're going to shoot them over at your... Not Outriders. Pistoliers. Pistoliers. Thank you. So we moved multiple shots and long range. We're looking at sixes to hit with those guys because they hit on threes normally because... They're elves. So we're gonna be just four shots actually, because it's two per guy. I need six to hit. We got a hit. Your toughness three? Yes, sir. This is gonna be a four wound. That's a wound. No uh yeah, in, in, no AP it's got armor bane. That's what it is. <gasps> Ooh, we got one. I killed a lad. Boop. 17th birthday was tomorrow. Good. We're gonna move on to the repeater. We're gonna pivot it. Boop. Something like this. And get them back there. Bring it back in a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, multiple shots at those uh, pistoliers over there. Both doors have D3 plus three multiple shots. It is gonna be over long range, multiple shots. That's about it, so I guess fives. D3 plus three, it'll be five shots. 
We hit twice, and we wound on threes. One wound, I think edge is minus one. So good. We got one more, and that's a panic. I don't know what their leadership is, though. Oh, we're kids. We're seven. The seven. The lads. Uh, right. Falling back in good order. Which is me off the table. Oh, he <laughs> Yeah, they go at that angle right off the table. Boop, boop. Got him. Repeater. I keep wanting to call that a reaper. It is a reaper. I keep wanting to call it a repeater. Both you're, a Hyle's a repeater. You're a reaper. Because uh, we reap and you yeah, repeat. Yeah. But it's the exact same. It's the exact same thing. Yeah, okay. We're going to go ahead and fire. What do you think? Single shot or multiple shots at the demigriffs? They have, they have two up armor. Uh, single shot it is. <laughs> single shot for two damage it is. Uh, it will be long range. So, twang. Uh, misses. I'm, I'm a little behind the line on my guys. Well, we got our wizard. And our Dark Riders next. Or available. I'm going to do the Dark Riders. I'm going to do five of them, putting shots into... Well, actually, only three of them. Eh, maybe all five have range. I'll double check. We're going to be putting the shots into the Outriders ahead of us. Uh, 24. Yeah, we're in the... Okay, we're good. Uh, we're going to be long-range multiple shots and moving. So sixes to hit with them. I just got... I got five dice right here. I'll do this twice. I need sixes to show. We have one hit. I'm just going to re-roll it to see if I get more in there. I don't. So I only have one hit with the Dark Riders. I need a four wound. That's a wound. No AP. Uh, I'm up. Can't, can't save them. Got one. All right. Actually, I would do a panic when the friends are oh, no, there. What if those were their kids? Oh, we passed. We're good. Okay. That could have been their boy. That could have been their, yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> at, that, at least you know what? That's it. <laughs> that, was, that was their kids over there. Those Pistoliers, that's theirs right there. Over there. Those oh. are Outriders. No, no, the Pistoliers. The, oh, gotcha. The Pistoliers. Yeah, fair. fair. What, what do you know about Outriders? Are they just veterans? Who uh, they're at? just, uh, they're, they're not good enough to be nice. They want to stick with the guns. They, oh, a little so older. They, they got a little bit older. They're not ready for all that plate mail. Remember they're going to engineering school. Okay. Instead of night school. That does look like a complicated piece of machinery there. Yeah. I don't think I would do they, that. They want to go to college and go here, or go to university and go there. Okay. Right it's simple. Yeah, simple path, you know. Life was easier back then. The magic show. I forgot about the magic show. All right. I didn't go to that college. <laughs> We're going to start with the Ruby Ring of Ruin. Oh. Everyone's favorite. Oh. You have, wait, do you have a Ruby Ring of Ruin? I do not. Are you going to fade it? You're just going to automatically gonna fade it to dispel this yeah. one. All right, fine. We're going to Ruby Ring of Ruin the Outriders. Yep. I need to show a six on the dice to cast it. Hey, look at that. Ruby Ring of Ruin decided to work. We rolled a nine. I need a ten. Ten on the dice? No, not quite. Close. That's, cool. That's 12. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Three or 21, obviously. Or I guess 12 from your point of view. Depends on the camera's point of view. Anyway, it, the damage. <laughs> it's 2d6 fires. We got seven fires. Here comes seven fires, and here comes seven pains. Oh, you know what? That <laughs> worked out. Three? Four. Four? Strength four fireball. Uh, oh, one. only one? That's a panicking. No, it's not. No, it's not. I take it back. No panic. Oh, wait, the face, the face, the face. Same face, same face. You say it with so, such confidence. I'm like, hey, you're right. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Come right. on. Where's your BSP? Uh, way over there. All right. That's a fallback in good order. They go. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take that. Yep. All right. They're going to go into the woods. What'd you get? A four or five? Ooh. Ooh, way over here. No, you only go the high die. You only go the high oh, die. Oh, what I roll? Yeah. Just the little one, and you get to regroup afterwards. Always remember, you only fall back in good order if you're, I think it's like over half of what your starting unit was. But now that will cause a panic though. Oh, no, 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 and that will be the end of my turn, essentially. So we're going to do Arns of Black Horde. That's the lore signature spell from the lore of, I guess it's called Nagarond. And we are going to remember we have the Black Staff. We're going to throw a third die in there and take the two high dice. So we're going to go ahead and get that on a 14. We're going to have level four wizard supremacy here. Today, I'm the bad guy. We're going to go ahead and just put the Black Horde right there. It's not super effective against the Demigriffs, but... This arcane monolith, the ruin, the ruins here are just kind of blocking where I want to put it. So this is fine. Uh, general rule of thumb, I'm going to roll the black staff every time if I forget to mention it. So if I forget to throw the third die in, I'm just going to throw it in afterwards. Even if there's one in the initial pool. Just uh, hard to remember. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do summon elemental spirits now. Yeah! Oh, God, with a really high roll. That is just a small blast. I'm just going to place the uh, spirit right beside the black horror as well. I just changed the template to orange so they match. So we got elemental spirits and black horror. Just trying to like scare away the demigriff knights for now. But 
I have other threats I have to worry about very shortly. And that is the end of Dark Elf turn one. Welcome, everyone, because I have no fights to do. And that's kind of it. We're going to go to your turn Why one. Why is it moving right away? True. That's true. All right, so the Black Horror is a 2d6 move in a random direction. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the 2d6 over here. It will go 10. I'm going to clean up my dice. And then I'm going to roll where it's going to go. Okay. okay. It just pop right through them. And that is going to be D6 strength checks on them, but I'm going to assume they're pretty high strength. Uh, one. There's only Can one strength. Can you use check. the highest strength in the... You know what? I will figure it out. Roll a die. Would you roll three? That's going to be a pass Either on way. whoever does it. Yep. So it's all good. And then we're going to randomize the elemental spirits. It only goes D6. It'll be two inches. Uh, staying right there. All right. Unfortunately, me Wargaming has reallocated a little bit of resources for today, so I have to play a little aggressive to get this game done. I won't be able to get it done today. So I'm just going to go full send. I do one prayer to cast. I'm going to do uh, Hammer of Sigmar on these knights here for all hits and wounds of one. And we passed that leadership check. I'm just going to take that out of there. And, and now we're just going to surge on forward. Oh, boy. Uh, so Tactics to the wind. Only aggression. We they're mad. Their, their, their boys ran away. Now, how far <laughs> do you move? You move seven, right? Uh, yeah, wanna, you move seven. No swift stride, so we can only go 13. Wanna, I want to be outside of your seven so I can do my counter charge. I uh, gotcha. Understood. Uh, and then we're just going to do the same thing over here. We're just, just going to do... Making it happen, eh? Oh, I might roll seven. stupidity up. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, we're going to back up with these knights here. Hi, now I'm panicking. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is going to... I mean, realistically, what is an all knight list going to do other than full send? Is... <laughs> There's also that. Are you within 11? I'm going to back this up. I'm going to back these up a uh, uh, hair. Just to stay out of the uh, charge. No, you know what? No. Wait, wait, you wait, wait. Come on in. You can come on in. I don't want to come on in. Well, I mean, you probably don't want them being charged. Uh, I'm going to go through this spell, Luca. What does it do? Uh, that is D3 plus three hits at strength four uh, with elemental spirits. Do it. With an AP of one. Do it. It's also dangerous terrain, though, so it slows your movement down and you might take wounds. Okay. Just two models, it looks like, though, eh? Uh, it'll probably be three. <laughs> That's a. I think you're good. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just the two, just the two. All right. So those two models are going to be aggressively moving through the summon elemental spirits. So they're both going to take uh, dangerous strain checks. Like Steve's got to roll that, but I'll roll the. I'll let him do that first, then I'll do the D three plus three strength. Pass them both. Nice. Well, as it's only ones, so it's going to be okay. That's six, six hits from the spirits, and your top one is four. On the demigriff knights. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna have them wheel back a bit. Sure. Just so I can see that lady. Hey. Uh, they get wounded three times at minus one. Uh, three, three up saves. Take a wound. One damage. And I'm going to keep pushing. How far does that guy fly? 20. Oh. Or it might be 19 or 18. Either way, all the way over to here. I don't go that far. I'm going to go, if you fly that way, I got you covered. I'm going to put pressure on her. So we're going to go about here. See, that's scary stuff. She's very expensive, and she's got no defenses, so she's caught out. That's it. That's over. And the squad is going... Actually, they're going to march it. Who do you want to take the wound? Uh, this guy or that guy? Uh, that guy. That guy. Down to two. From the fire. Am I over moving here now? Peace to Lears. Okay. They have counter charge. You want to stay outside? They actually have counter charge. You want to stay in counter charge range? I'm movement nine. These guys are movement seven, so... Here, I'll back them up. Counter charge. Seems we got aggression going on over here. Oh, I don't want to charge Demigriff Knights, man. <laughs> that sounds horrible. All right, and then uh, we're going to go on a shooting. All right. Oh, we're raising a fire at the lady. Now, <laughs> weirdly enough, this guy hits a better bus skill. So he'll be hitting on fives, okay. three shots. He'll be hitting on fours with three shots. But you get cover from this guy. This guy's on sixes. I can do all three separately. Gotcha. So this is uh, fours. One hit. This will be fives. One hit. And then this will be sixes. Four hits. No. <laughs> uh, fours to wound. Okay. One wound, AP one, and that sorceress. Uh, that will be a wound. She has, that's it. She okay. got uh, an extra wound. She got four wounds, I think. I'll double check. She either, three, she either has three left or two left. I think she's got three, though. But that's not overly important yet. That yeah. is my turn. They marched? They marched. 
Well, that was a fast turn. That was way faster than my turn, that's for sure. Uh, I'll end that vortex at the end of one of your phases. All right. Thank you. I'll lose turn right away. Why does it start moving this guy? It's going to go... Actually, screw me this guy. That's going to be a little more relevant. It's going to move nowhere. No, it's going nowhere. Direct Here, hit. Direct hit. Bins on the spot. Well, uh, other than that spell doing that, I can... I'm going to end it, I guess, at the start of the command sub phase. And then we'll just cast it later in the shooting phase. However, <laughs> I am going to target them with Plague of Rust, reducing their armor save by two. Yep. That's going to be hopefully helpful. Hey. And again, I forgot the thing, but shouldn't be. Oh, a one. We hit it. Would you like to fade and dispel that roll? You need box Would cards. Would you roll? You need box cards. This lasts until my next turn as well. No, I, my theory here is I am, your shooting's not going to do enough. And uh, in combat, actually, would have damage that I don't need it. Okay. And I'd rather you shoot them. No, I'm, I'll, I want I might fireball them when they got four up save. <laughs> if you let the play your rust go, I might just hammer them with shooting. I have boxcar. I know, I know the wizard thing. You know what? Up to you. <laughs> I do want to do a hypothetical. No. All right, all right, all right. Plague Rust, you got it. Plague Rust, it is. That's the only thing I have to cast in the Conjuration step. Everything else is a shooting spell, so we are good to go to the movement phase where I have some charges, but not many. I lied. When I moved that Vortex earlier, I should have done my stupidity mm. as well. Doesn't change anything, yeah, luckily. Yep. I'll do the Cold One Knights first, Leadership 9. They are not subject to stupidity, and then the Cold One Chariot on the other side of the board. Also Leadership 9, also passing, which is kind of important. Otherwise, I was staring down some knights there, and that's not great. So I can go right to charging. I will declare a charge. My first charge declaration will be Chariot, Cold One Chariot, into those just Empire Knights. Yep. Empire Knights, we're going to do... I don't think I want the Corsairs to charge. They're just going to do Corsair things, I guess. Not too sure what, but they'll figure it out. <laughs> We're going to do Dark Elf Warriors with Spears charging the Empire Knights. I don't want to do that, but I don't want those Empire Knights charging me. Moving on. Is that all your charges? That's pretty much all my charges. Uh, counter charge and hold. Roll up the counter charge. Oh, yeah, I got to do my first. Yeah. Do it. P3 plus one. Oh, I'm going to go forward three inches. That's good enough for... I don't think you needed it. You just wanted the lance bonus, essentially. Yeah. It didn't matter what you went there. It didn't matter what you went yeah. there. Yeah. So I'm going to roll my chariot chart. I can't pick You can't tell that one. <laughs> I will go... Do my max... I'm maximizing on two. Nope, three. There we go. So I'll go right there. Let's go straight ahead. Shortest distance. And then we're going to go with these guys. Now, these Dark Elf Warriors, if I was to go straight ahead, it's... I think it's over nine. It's over eight. So I need an eight, which would be a three on one of these dice, I guess. I'll get it with the six. I got it with the six. So they're going to go pretty far. And I think they would just go pretty much straight. Looks like they'll wheel a little bit to get to that corner there to clip. And then we'll line on them like that. See, so now you have to take the lowest die and lower your moon by one. Because I, I think the align doesn't count for that. Because I was able to clip you before the align. I'll let it go. Yeah. I don't think that's true. I'm not too sure what the answer on that one was. I want this combat. But you know what? Ignore what I said. I think the other die was also a four, though. Oh, you good. I think I got a four and a six. <laughs> but we're not disrupted. Just no, you're, def you're definitely not. You're, you're definitely not disrupted. You have to be 25 percent in the woods. For yeah. Or put, a, or put a nasty spell beside me. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't have that this no, time. <laughs> no tempest today. I let me tell you, if you guys can give me flack for being the level, the guy with the level four wizard, I was on the receiving end of it, unfortunately, twice. But only because this guy <laughs> rolls like a god. Rolls like a freaking god. Okay, not yet so far. He hasn't yet. But watch. Wait. Wait and watch. Wait and watch. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. I swear. Uh, okay. We're just going. No respect my Warhammer skills. Remain. Remaining moves. It's all in the race. So he's put a lot of pressure on my sorceress here, so I have to get okay, march. Do you have to march? No, I don't think I have to march. Ten. Uh, you can charge her if I go there, but if I just go over this, I'll have to fly behind my black card. So the back of her, the furthest the back of her base will go will be here. So she could fly to right here. Well, essentially like this, but we'll just we're gonna tuck it in. We're gonna hope that these units hold, and she's just gonna try and hit them through the middle of them. And she has retreated, but her targets, she can only target the demi Griff Knights now. Oh, and then, well, the rest of my moves, I don't love how the left side of my battlefield is looking. So we're going to go ahead and move 
these guys are gonna ride this way. I don't really want to support that side of the battlefield anymore. We're just gonna abandon, in true Dark Elf fashion, they're gonna abandon some of their allies for uh, greener pastures on this part of the battlefield. I don't know if that's gonna accomplish much. We're just gonna commit to a march. We're just gonna go, oh, I'm just getting got by that guy. So we're gonna, we're gonna hang out back here with them. And I don't know what I really want to do. This is fine. They're not gonna shoot, and that's fine. Ah, I guess I can put pressure, put a couple shots on them, but they're gonna have heavy cover. So we'll do our regular move, we'll face this way, we'll put some shots on those Empire Knights, but it's all heavy cover. I'm gonna keep these Dark Riders where they are, and we're gonna back up the Cold One Knights just a bit, just to the point where that Sorceress is. So we can't really go much further than that. Out of a little bit of fear, I'd say. And then the Black Guard, are gonna push up because they don't fear much. Not much at all. All right, that'll be it. I did move the Black Guard back a little bit because I realized I was blocking, uh, I was giving the Demi Griff Knights some pretty heavy cover by doing so. I am gonna start with my Reaper Bolt Throwers today, or this phase. This one here is going to pivot that away. We are gonna pierce through the Demi Griff Knights, but they do have heavy cover because of this in the way. Uh, we are probably in half range. If so, it'll be five. Definitely. Yeah, it, look, it looks like 20. Yeah, it looks like 18. So it's always good to measure, but that one's kind of obvious, I guess. Yeah. It's a five to hit. Oh, I, are they down to 36 inch range? I thought they're 48. Are they 36? They may be 36 now. All right, we're going to look that up. All right, they're still 48 inch range, so we're good. We're, we're within, we're within 18 anyways. Yeah, we're within 18 anyways. Uh, if this hits on a five, we're in a good spot. If it misses, I'm happy. I'm happy. You know what? I'm happy it missed out of the way. I would hate for that shot to work out that well. Sometimes you get the shot. Sometimes you get the shot. Sometimes you take the shot, right? That's the thing. Uh, we're gonna have this Reaper Bolt or do multiple shots on the Demi Grip Knights because it's it's only gonna kill one at best, but I feel like gambling. So D3 plus three. It's only four shots, but we could do four wounds with it. These are gonna be fours to hit because of multiple shots. Bam. Got a hit, all right, rough. And then a wound as well at minus three, technically. Because, oh, I didn't mean you rolled a one. I got a wound. I got a wound, everyone. We're gonna move on to the fireworks show with the Supreme Sorceress. Now she can only really target the Demi Griff Knights. Uh, we got the line of sight through the Cold One Knights and the Black Guard. But you also forced me to get out of Wind Blast range. So, like Steve said, you want to deal with an enemy wizard, you just put, put pressure, pressure on, just put pressure on yep. it. Just aggressively run towards it. It limits my, now I don't have Wind Blast. Uh, I can only really Ruby Ring and put a couple Vortexes down. Now the Vortexes might be good, but. I'm gonna come back at you now. True, yeah, <laughs> do you still have your Faded Dispel? I do. Here, here's the ring, it works. Okay, I'm getting lucky with the ring. You uh, need a, 10 a 10, 10 stop, 10 stop. Oh, oh. 2d6 hits on the Demi Grips. Ooh, 10, okay, that's spicy. With the Plague of Rust, that could be kind of nasty. But we are looking at Force to Wound. We got five. And these are at minus two because of Plague of Rust. Whoa. Oh, you're perfect. That's awesome. And then we're just going to put down the Black Horror. Uh, ooh, that fails. That's an eight. Black Horror is nine to cast. Oh, I'm going to. I said I'm going to do it. I'll do it. Okay. There we go. I almost missed cast, but we got the spell. That's the Black Staff. Keep forgetting about it. So we get the Black Horror. I'm going to put that just in front of the Demi Griffs, and then I'll do the Elemental Spirits as well. Uh, we got that as well. We put the Black Horror. There, and we put the Summon Elemental Spirits right there. A couple more Raging Vortexes to try to deter the Demi Griff Knights coming in. And then the last shots are going to be the Dark Riders. On, well, I have more Dark Riders on the other side, I suppose. But these five Dark Riders are going to put shots in the Outriders. Because I don't like... I really want to do the Demi Griff Knights, but I'm not lined up to do that. So we're going to do ten shots in the Outriders instead. Now, because of range issues, two guys in the back are out of half. They're going to be hitting on fives with multiple shots. They didn't move. The three in the front will be hitting on fours. So I'll do the guys in the back first. There's going to be a hit, which ain't bad. And then the other six shots are looking at fours to hit here with the repeater bolt throwers. Okay, we got, that's a hit there, yep. And we need fours to wound with the strength three. One wound, no AP. Go up. Got one. I got a lad. No panic, though. So. Then we come to the other side of the board. We have 10 uh, repeater crossbows into these Empire Knights back here, all heavy cover uh, and moving in range. So it's already minus four, so sevens to hit. I might as well multiple shots for eights, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> We're looking at sixes into fives. That's what's that's what's going on here. Five. So I need six to hit. These are near impossible shots, but we'll see. If, no, they all miss anyway. It doesn't matter. All right. That'll be that for shooting this phase. We can go right to combat. Nope. Oh, I do have those guys. I actually meant to move them a little bit. 
No, this is okay. They'll stay there. They're going to do 10 shots into the arch lector. Why not? 20. I'm large target. Thank you. I did not know you were a large target. Get the fire in the back. Oh, yeah. It's, some, it's a chariot. I don't know if chariot. Uh, oh, I guess the mortis engine is a large target as well. All right. Yeah. 20 shots it is. This would be 20 shots. Uh, I don't. What's your armor save on him? Like, four up. Four, uh, I mean, I guess I could get lucky. These are fours to hit just for multiple shots. So the first half, well, we got seven hits. We need six to wound. No wounds on the first half. Beautiful. <laughs> and then the second half has this many hits all over here. I need sixes. Give me five. Nothing. All right. No damage. No damage. Now we can go to combat. We'll start with our cold one chariot right there. Didn't fail stupidity. D6 plus one impact hits going in here. See if we get lucky. Maybe alleviate some of the knights on the way in. Five. I'll, I'll never I'll never balk at five. That's for sure. I usually get one though. Two's to wound at minus two. It's a heavy chariot. So we got four wounding hits. Well, three dead. Jeez. All right. It's all right. I'm still going to kill you. All right. Fair. Got four cats coming back at you. I think I go first. I charge as well. Yes, but I'm an elf. Oh, that's true. You, you <laughs> play with your spear. Yeah, I get to go with my spears. Uh, we only have two attacks. We have... Are you web skill four? Mm, yes. Am I web skill five? No. Dang. All right, I got a miss. And I wound at minus one because it's a spear. Four up. Oh, one dead. All right, there we go. You go oh, before my attacks. My cold ones are only initiative five or something. So. Hitting on fours, we're rolling one, so they're hammer sigma. What is the hammer of sigma? It's a prayer problem. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And we're strength five, so wounding all fours. Ooh. Three wounds AP2, one's AP3. One's AP3. One just goes through, and I, t I got one wound left, and I got two cold one attacks. Do it up. Hey. Oh, they both miss. Oh, Horses. but there's two cold ones. Yeah. Sorry. One hit, and oh, that's armor bane. Yep. We're <laughs> armor one or two? Just one. No, we're good. Oh, you should be good, yeah. Three horses. Oh, no. One hit. One wound. Oh, God. Here we go. My chariot is fine. Actually, yeah, I didn't wound anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, you your uh, comes five. Uh, that's true. Six. That's true. Our chariot has a single wound left, which isn't bad. Now, for what I do, I killed three guys. I killed three. That's gonna be a little tough. So I have three combat resolution. I have closed order because it's a lumbering. Uh, three closed and a banner. Yep. Yep. That's not great. We're gonna lose that one. You do not double outnumber me, so I'm just gonna I lose. I lost by one. Uh, you, yeah. 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 I, I'm, I'm using strength four on that. Yeah, thing. I need one more to survive. <laughs> uh, we hold. Well, okay. well, we're going to fall back in good order. Would you like to chase? We will restrain because it's my turn next. Restrain. You don't. No. Following up. All right, so I'm going to go four, and you're probably going to catch him, but. Yep. yep, 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 yep. So you'll get your lances yet again. But it will cause panic on them. It will cause a panic on them. Let me just resolve that before we move sure. in. Yep. Panic on the Corsairs. They're good. They don't care. We're going to run at a weird angle here, though, because now it's like running from that middle guy here. Oh, it's not that bad of an angle. Uh, four. It's going to end up popping through the Corsairs. I think you run into, I think you got the Corsairs. So, yeah, so actually this means he gets away. Oop. I don't catch him. I go over here. And I go into this. I actually did look at this up recently. Yep. And then, yep, that's it. You get a charge on that. That means that guy does get away, though. And we're going to reform him. Yeah, he's going to get caught by like an overrun or something, though. So we're going to reform to face the front. I do have to do a dangerous train check as well. For him going into the woods. And he might just die to that. You know, it's a chariot. Iron shod wheels or something like that. He's dead. <laughs> he ran. He dead. He's dead. He goes into the woods. Uh, is he within six of them now? Uh, no, it's it's, it's he, he, too small. That's right. It also looks a little too far. <laughs> not, Got him. Not bad. Not bad. That was a good series of events. That's why I like this game. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, you pull one model, I run at a weird angle, and now I'm in the woods. Lost <laughs> combat by one to static combat res, essentially. You're faster over here. I am. But I only have... I don't even have a... I couldn't afford a champion for the unit. Yeah, seven the veteran. Yeah, seven attacks. All right, let's go. It's going to hit fours you. Fours and fours. Yeah, it should just be fours and fours. I got spears on them, so I don't get the extra attack yet. Hopefully, I don't get too humbled here. Ugh, that was a one from earlier. I'll get rid of that. And we need fours to wound you with our very powerful strength three. Okay, I'll take three, and then maybe three one. Three of armor? We're good. Oh, they only have heavy armor, eh? I can do, um, oh, we'll do my captain. Yep. Hitting on threes. Good start. And threes. These are AP two, because it's a biting blade. Oh, it's not like a lance or something? No. Okay. So you two dead. And then, um, I have four riders and five horses, but the champion, so I roll them all together, because it's all fours and fours. Yeah, it's all fours. Gotcha. 
wish I had hammer over here. That's okay. <laughs> hammer did well on the other side of the table for me, I would say. We have two more wounds, but no AT. We're going to get a light armor and shields against this. I'll save one. I'll take it. That's the third fallen elf. So I got uh, three kills, a rank, two kinds of banners, a closed order, and I don't think I have a war banner, but that's all I got. And you mentioned a war banner somewhere. I don't recall. <laughs> Where the heck was that? Was that last night's game? Maybe. Well, my combo is easy. I have a rank still active. I got a banner. Yes, they have the war banner as well. And I'm in closed order. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, well. You don't double outnumber me, that's a big thing. So I lost combat by five. My leadership is eight, so I, I gotta roll with an eight here. And they're veteran. Uh, we're good, we fall back in good order. I'm gonna test for a string. Yep. Uh, I do. You do? All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fall back in good order four inches. They beat the crap out of me. Falling center to center, reforming when I regroup, and uh, accepting that we pretty much charged in and lost three out. <laughs> like you no won't both though. Um, it, that's where they start there. Oh, really start where they the start yeah, you are right. Yep, yep. Uh, that is the end of Dark Elf turn two. Before we even do anything, just go right to movie. Right spells, to the board, please. Yes, I will pass <laughs> this is what I mean. uh, Scatter die. We're going to start with the elemental, sp elemental spirits. It's going to go, oh, towards me. The D6 will matter then. I guess it might protect me, technically. No, nah, I'm, I, full send. I guess you don't care either way, right? So the hole's gonna be right beside that die, right about here. And then this one's gonna scatter. Oh, coming, baby, let's go, this one's Oh, no, that actually makes me slower. It does, and difficult terrain. There is difficult terrain. So actually, I know I can't go now. You okay. could. Oh, the charges, yeah. Okay. It's All gonna right. land effectively beside that die as well. So uh, I'm gonna do an impetuous test for these guys right here. They have to charge. Uh, you have no stupidity. Oh, they failed their impetuous check. They're young! They're dumb! Well, in my command phase, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do Hammer of Sigmar on the big unit of knights. Uh, they, I pass, so the uh, real ones to hit and to wound. Uh, I think that uh, they're fine. So we're gonna go on to charges. They have to declare a charge. Yep. So they're gonna declare a charge into them. Oh, do you want to try and dispel one of these? Oh, spells? sure. There's um, nothing else really going on. Which one do I care about the most? Well, I think so. So, some of those little spirit is dangerous terrain. You definitely care about that one. However, it's cast on a nine. Let me check Black Horror. I don't know if Black Horror is dangerous terrain. It's also cast on a nine, so it's like the same casting value. Why don't you go ahead and roll? I roll if 10. I roll ten, we get rid of one of them. I don't okay, have to worry no, about. It didn't matter. Now I'm curious if one's difficult terrain, but it, it, yeah, they're both the same. One is the larger blast. Fair. All right, I'm gonna charge you. So these guys are gonna charge them. Okay. Uh, these, so th this guy and the knights are going to charge them, but give me a terror test because I have terror. You're spooky! Wait, what about a terror test? I think you might have lost that rule. If you fail, I'll look it up. Oh. We just pass it. We don't have to worry about it. I passed the check. What am I looking up? Uh, I, I, I might have lost, I, don't, I might not have the terror rule anymore. Oh, the arch like yeah, I see so it. You said in older editions. So yeah, so charge, charge here and charge there. This guy's going to charge the bolt door. Yeah, yeah. Now, these guys have fire and flee. Yep. You okay with it? Like, you want to charge anything else? Nope. Don't care? Okay. Well, they'll fire and, they'll fire and flee. That'll hold. And the bolt door is going to be a bolt door. I think it has to hold. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so do you fire and flee? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, the, the two in the back are still going to be long range. So these are five, six, it's fire and flee. It should be a negative one to hit, I assume. I didn't even bother looking up. It's like stand and shoot. Yes. Uh, we got three hits so far. Nice. And then the other six are on fours. Okay. We got quite a bit of hits here. I wonder if I, if I kill them, do I still have to do the flea part? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's four wounds and one's at a, a fifth, and then a fifth one at negative one for armor main. Sixes. Oh, nice. Fives. They're oh, dead. that's squad. They're dead. Uh, no flea. That might be a panic. Impetuous is terrible. <laughs> that might be a panic for that. Uh, I believe stand and shoot does not cause panic. I, it. I'll roll it. You being, yeah, roll it just in case. Uh, well, that's gonna be a panic. Yeah, whatever your general. He's not, not, he's not 10, what are you calling? We're human. We're gonna look this up, we're gonna look this up, only because stand and shoot doesn't cause panic in the unit being stand and shot, but a unit was completely destroyed at unit strength more than five nearby them. So I don't know what that means. That's we'll, a fair we'll, point. We'll double check. Well, yeah, uh, charging units ignore the, yeah, so they have panic. A uh, unit still got destroyed nearby. Uh, seven inches. It's a fallback in good order, only the high die. I know, uh, oh, sorry, six. Uh, from the closest enemy unit? Yeah. Uh, it would be the closest, yeah, it'd be the black card in this case. But that's going to panic my general. Oh, oh who they, doesn't they, have to do a test because he's charging? Uh, they were, I was going to say there were, they might, yeah, they Actually, that's through. not a thing. Do a panic no, I was just in do case, do a panic, just don't, let's not have this be a chain panic. He's not, he's, he's got to be a general at nine, he's come nine, on, nine, okay, nine, okay, nine. okay. Yikes. I'm going to roll his charge up right now. Uh, all right, he's in. Send him in the bolt door. Uh, the knights and chariot don't have to try. I don't have to roll anything over here. No, I'll roll the chariot. 
Straight ahead, right in both of her. Yeah, super in. Close this route. Right. Well, we're just gonna wheel to make room for everybody. Yep. Oh, you got the uh, coming in. The friend. We'll close the door like that. Actually, we might have room. You could have you could have wheeled further probably just to get to there maybe. There's Luca. Oh, I'm that's, moving your models. That's okay. Look, all, everything's fully legal and good to go. No one saw anything. There was room for everyone all of the time. I'm gonna. So they were they had declared a charge, right? No. They didn't declare they a charge. Did not oh, because these guys were in there. Gotcha. Okay, that, that cleans that up a little bit then. I wasn't too sure. I'm like, they declared a charge. I don't know if there's a rule about that or anything. You know, please, those guys. I have to resolve the fire and flee part still. <laughs> yes, actually, I still have to do that. This is good for you because you're going to be out of my uh, range of shoot for them. So they discard the lower die. They go six, uh, which is, it would have been essentially directly away from them. Uh, so I'm going to assume they go boop. While you're doing that, I'm just going to do but I don't, nothing here. I can't do anything here. I don't think my guys auto rally. I think I have to uh, still rally them on my turn. They might run off the board. They have a musician. I'm, I'm pretty sure you audio. I'm not positive. I'll double check. Yeah. Fire and flee is just a charge reaction. If you flee, you don't get the, there's no. I don't think there's like no more auto rally thing. Anyways, that's again. You gotta remember, we've been playing Warhammer for a Too long many time. Editions. Lots of <laughs> lots of editions. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Army's project, and they're all slightly different. Only other movements I gotta do are these guys right here. That's the thing in range. That their max move? No, but I'm gonna get things in range. Oh, you wanna stay in the woods though. Yeah. It's safe in the woods. The woods protect. Ah, oh, not not all things. <laughs> the woods don't protect everything. All right, so I got three shots into your knights. They are ponderous. So two guys are hitting on sixes. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna multiple shot. Let me just. Yeah, there's typically not too much sixes. Value. Hey, and fives. Two hits in my, your knights. My dark, yep, my cold ones. Uh, one wound, AP one. AP one, they do have full plate armor. So uh, with he uh, armored hide and shield, that's a two up save on them. And it will kill one of the knights. Let's go ahead and lose you, I suppose. We're gonna go right to combat. We're gonna do my general into the bolt door. I would easily just pull it, but I'm kind of curious what this guy even yeah, does. Yeah, so. sure. My, my mount's gonna be the fastest. Uh, <laughs> really? Oh, the great weapon? I have a great weapon, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna hit you on a. Uh, Let me tell you, that looks like a great weapon. Something about that hammer? It's yeah. not something about that hammer. It looks like a great weapon. Mount that. Oh, I have to check. Yeah, sorry. It's about to fire. Three hits from the mount, and yep. then two's the kill. All right. It's dead. Borrow Kranz I strikes will, again. Like you, Sir John, forward. Roll it up. Uh, I roll a four. Would you like to where add those right? Show me where four puts me. Uh, four is going to... Oh, you, want, you probably want to know the back, mostly. Four puts the back where his front is. I like that. You like that? Like, leave that. It turns out this thing's exactly four inches wide. I'm just gonna knock you in. I don't. I think I knock you an inch away. Does it matter? Sure. Yeah. You, you, you should. Yeah. You should. Um, let's do this fight right here. I missed my bolt door already. We're off with the war altars impact tax. Obviously, it is uh, four hits, uh, killing on twos. We got two, two dead elves. Did you that was your impact. Yeah. That was literally it. And yeah. then your initiative four, five, six, same yep. as my lances. So I'll just do um, actually my character, my uh, captain will be next speed. Yep. He's sitting on threes, re-rolling ones. He's in initiative seven. Uh, he'll be four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one hit and uh, threes to kill. We got one more dead. One more L. And now we're at uh, Initi same initiative. Same, you just get yours out of the way. Yeah. Anyone, anyone that dies now can fight back. So we have four knights, which is five attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta do them. So we're hitting on fours. Yeah. And then two's the kill. He kills three. And then we have uh, six, sorry, five, seven horses. The horses are on fours. Oh, I should be separately. Horses are probably initial like six or something. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll just yeah, just get them out of the way. Nothing. Oh, real ones. Nothing. All right, horses are done. I have my great weapon, but you're next in speed. Yeah. So you killed three from the front, uh, so they won't get to attack. But these three here that die can still strike. So it's gonna be four plus five. So you have 15 attacks typically with a squad. So you have 14 attacks minus three. So you have 11 attacks. That's actually what I was about to get to, actually. Yeah, four, five. Yep, 11 tax sounds right. I don't have my champion. I'm shooting from all of the knights. Yeah, I'm, uh, two of them can't hit the knights. Two of them, four of them have to hit the arch lector. Okay. Uh, I guess I could have taken the wounds from there, though. Yeah, I'll just do everything to the knights. Yeah. That makes sense. Four, yep. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are going to be fours, because you're nasty web skill four. Boom, boom, boom. Misses, misses, misses. And hey, average-ish. 
I wound four times. Not I, bad. I wish those had armor pan or something, but uh, you kill one. I'll take it. I'll and take then it. I have my arch lector. Yep, great weapon. Uh, <laughs> he's one. He's not web skill nine. Yeah, he's not web skill nine. <laughs> All right. Well, now I think you double O number me. So that's not great. Uh, what do I lose by here? I lost six guys? Six. I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You, uh, my commerce is twelve. You got twelve. You're double ones. I have, yeah, I got closed order banner and a kill and a rank. You only got, got, I got first three. Charge. I lose by nine. I think I have first charge, but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, you probably have first charge. Uh, that's not a double one for veterans. That is also not double one. So we are going to break. What would you like to do here? Uh, they both want to surge forward because I think we're going to catch stuff. Okay. So go ahead and roll yours. Let me get these guys out of here because it's going to be in the way. So I'm I'm going to don't forget, I'm breaking and fleeing this direction. I'm going away from them. Oh, so uh, good going, point. So if you're going to go this way, yep. I can still catch them. Yeah, because this will probably be the where's the middle middle of your units right here. Well, this will probably put him into them then. Yeah, they're both going to chase. Okay. Then I will do that. We're gonna roll there. Flea, we'll figure out where they're gonna go. They're gonna go seven inches away. And that's gonna be, boom, about that and about that. So the middle of my face, my unit's gonna be here. Now we're breaking though, so no chance to free reform. Uh, there's a chance I clip those guys. I'll, just in case, I'll bounce through them and do a panic check on them. Just take, uh, if you're unsure about measurements and you might hit something, just take the worst end of it. Don't argue with your friend. You got to play your game. I, I'd say we were fine. Yeah. Also, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna catch you here. The angle, you're safe. Just do a leadership on them. You know what, they well, fail. We're gonna say they're fine. <laughs> for the audience, I mean, I'm not gonna catch them. There you go. We're probably gonna end up something like that. Uh, the chariot uh, catches you. And the knights. Don't catch them. Let's go forward uh, four. Yeah, so they're both chasing. They both kind of Pivot to so they both pivot like that. He will hit them. Oh, you, beautiful. You, oh, you have to yeah, because you have to pivot towards me, right? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I want to hit them. I didn't yeah. think I was gonna get it. So he'll hit them, and then how far are they going forward? Four. Oh, four is not great. Yeah. Uh, I'm not able to do a leader check off of this. I have to have caught you do leader check, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, he's not part of there. So yeah, he'll go in. Sorry, let me get this these guys in here. I'm gonna do a dangerous train for this trade hitting that uh, the woods. Boom. We're good. Perfect. We're going to go the combat into the woods there. Free chariot impact hits. Uh, can I do oh, a, no, uh, you didn't go three inches. <laughs> can I get? No, I can't, right? I can't do a leadership to reform him. Right? You have to, like, break the unit completely or had caught them. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yep. So uh, no impact hits, but I didn't move three. Uh, so my knights are going to be the fastest. Ooh, knights. Uh, we're hitting on fours and killing on twos. Uh, three hits. And three dead. I'm just gonna leave them there because yep. they're probably gonna. The I'm just gonna put a marker beside them. Horses, the three horses are faster than you. Okay. Uh, fours and fours. Two more wounds from the horses. Okay, rep. Uh, oh, uh, wounds from the horses. We're light armor on them, so I guess we got that. Wait. Nope, that didn't help. That's five dead. No, these two horses are the same initiative as you. See, so to fight at the same time as you, these horses. You got the full rank, the front rank dead, anyways. Oh, okay. Um, that's another wound. The guy who steps up, his light armor does not protect him. We've My lost arch lector. Hit and a kill. Okay, we've lost. Uh, you know what? He might be weapon skill four. <laughs> oh, he you might, know what? I remember his stats he, sucking. He may the not. Horse and Speculum. <laughs> Hate that item. Hate that item. We'll, we'll find that item again in this timeline. Maybe what? when maybe when the Empire Arcane Journal comes out. Does anyone know when? Uh, he looks like five. Let's kill another one. Uh, six, seven then. Seven are dead. So there's only three left. Um, it's going to be these three because it has to be those three. So I'm just going to take this off and put them back there because it was this guy who stuck to that, who's right here, and the other guy's beside him. Come on now. Give me a test. You double, double ones are, or you're running? These are double ones. That's it. Yep. Double ones for these Black Art Corsairs to see if they stick around. No. And they are not veterans. Sure you will. Oh, actually, which way are you running? We are running uh, through your guys, it looks like. We're going to run at this angle. Because, uh, wait, what's the illustration? He's probably going to try and score. It's here to here. So it's this small, this small, so it's this way. Yeah, yeah. It'll be... So we we're going to catch them, so we're going to chase. We're going to go this way, yeah. And he, he's in a restraint because he's not going to do anything. Yep. Yeah. So our collector will uh, restrain. Good. Then reform and go ahead. And then we'll chase you down. All right, so we're going to go uh, seven inches. However, I think we're running through your knights. 
At least two of them are. Well, a lot. And the center of me ends up here. So the middle guy. Here, yeah. So the middle guy is running through this way. We're going to end up over here. And we have two guys that have to take 50-50 uh, dives. Uh, your angle should be this way, okay? No, it would have been it would have this way. The center of my model, center of your model. My, my center model is here. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like... It's got to be this way. Right? Well, that's not what I measured. You know, we'll see this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to test restrain them then. You don't want to go with them? Well, oh, you want to catch them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just going to restrain my knights. It looks like they're going to end up in the side of my other knights. There's no point in doing that. Uh, yeah, they're going to restrain. Yeah. And then my guys, we we're just double checking the angle they run. Uh, my guys Whoa. are going to run over here. And then two of them have to take dangerous train checks. Not danger train. Um, on a one, two, or three, they're killed by the knights that they run through. Uh, they both somehow weasel their way through it. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and that will, they're already, they're already panicking. No, nothing else that, is going to panic. That's my turn. You just crumpled my left flank on one glorious night charge. That's what nice to do. Yeah. That's but, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, you, I didn't you have turn any... over my left flank on one yeah. glorious fireball. <laughs> I, I didn't have, I didn't have any, uh, <laughs> I no, it was their fire. No, that I, I, if I, if I passed my impetuous test, I, I would have felt a whole lot better about this whole turn. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, is it the pistol? The pistols did it again? Yeah. The pistols. They have a lot of game left to play. Why don't you move these right now, though? That's onto my third turn. Unless you want to end them at the end of my turn. Uh, yeah, I would love to end those at the start of your fight phase. Or end, well, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. Boom, 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 they're gone. Stupidity! Cold one night. Let's go, boys. Nine. They're good. They don't care. Though they're not really in a position to do a whole lot because of this nonsense going on here. You want to not cast any spells? I would love to cast spells. Uh, we are going to go to the conjuration step of the phase here, and we're going to cast a Plague of Rust on the big general. Mm -hmm. Try and lower his armor save a little bit. Black Staff. Uh, we got it with a 7 into a, an 11. Yeah, take it. Let it happen. Plague of Rust. See if we can't hurt him a little bit. What's his actual armor save? Uh, 4 up. That's it, eh? That's it. 5 up board. Not 6 up. 6 up board? Uh, oh. 6 up armor now and a 5 up board. Any regen? No. No. But we have a 3 up board against fire. Interesting. Do I think. Do I have fire? I do. I have a fireball. I think I have the white cloak, and I think that's what that do. And then I, I, I said it, a ruin protection. I said it with like confidence, and then the second I said it, I'm like, ah, uh, maybe. Okay. It, okay. it never comes up. Three up board against any flaming attacks. Ruin ruin's got to go elsewhere. I understand this. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, probably over there. We're gonna go ahead and do rallies on the dark elf spearmen over there. Why not? They are still good to do at their base leadership. They pass on seven, so they're going to rally. The Corsairs are not at insurmountable losses, but they are at negative one to their leadership. They are going to fail that check. Oh, the musician does give him plus one, though. I rolled a nine, so just I don't. Do you think a Corsair is nine or eight base? Uh, all L's are eight. But I got these guys are nine. Eight base. Eight base. Do you think a Corsair is an elite elf? I don't think so. They're probably going to keep running. Uh, and then I got to do the Dark Riders. They do have a musician. They're double ones. They're good. They're back in the game, baby. Dark Riders winning me the game over here. I'm just going to go ahead and continue fleeing the Corsairs because they might cause a couple panics. Wait, did you actually fail? I failed them. Yeah, I rolled a oh. nine. I rolled a nine. But they're, they're minus one leadership because they're under 50%. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. And then the musician just counteracted. I thought you rolled an eight. I rolled a nine. Gotcha. I'm exactly. with you. I'm with you now. What are they I wasn't running? looking. They're running six. That's going to panic, panic. Um, actually, these are just tokens. Got to remember that. They don't, they don't count. count. They don't count. So not panic on that, but panic on these guys. Brrrp. We're going to end up actually just right on the other side of them. Thanks for the panic there, homies. You did so much for me. I played the Corsair. Well, I didn't have to play against like an all catalyst. I played the Corsairs much better last time. <laughs> Let me tell you. All right. The Dark uh, dark Riders. Nine of the Dark Riders. They're panicking. Get out of here. Uh, they are going to fall back in good order away from those knights. They're five. They're out of here. They're off the table. Which will then Boop. panic them. Boop. Yeah, because this guy should. You can rally and panic in this game. Is yeah, this? that'll be within six. Yeah, so the unit being destroyed will be within six. The Corsairs cost me a little bit more than I thought they might. <laughs> Let's do a panic on the Dark Elf. Please. Warriors. They pass. Okay. <laughs> they pass. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the Corsairs aren't skirmishers. They do cause panic when they run through things. That's when the skirmishers said, don't do that. Okay. Well, that's not the worst. Any charges to clear? 
Ooh, I don't, I don't think you have any. I don't have any, no. I just have remaining moves. Fair. Oh no, I have spells to cast. In re after remaining moves? After, after the, <laughs> they're, they're magical missiles yeah. and magical vortexes <laughs> and stuff. I might still vortex, I might still ruby ring him. Just how many moves he got, six? Uh, He should have, let me see here. He's got three on the character, his mount, Gives him three, four more. So he has seven. Seven wounds. Toughness six. Toughness six. No, toughness five. Oh, T5 is a little bit easier to deal with. Just, just a little bit though. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna go to the remaining moves then. All right. So the plan of attack here for mobility is we're gonna. This is the easy one. These dark elf warriors is gonna march. Well, there'll be a march. I'm just gonna move an inch away from you. We're gonna be right there. We're just gonna hang out. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be all oh, I got guys right there. Okay, we're gonna back it up a little bit. And we're gonna wheel. Yeah, <laughs> that's the plan. We're gonna keep them both in the front. Uh, and I mean, uh, there's a circle, inner, or not inner circle, inner, inner circle might still a thing. Yeah, yeah, but I don't take them anymore. Oh, they're not great? No, because uh, they're special and I don't want to use my other core. Oh, I see. I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all cap. Yeah, I get it. It's all theme. They're gonna stay there. The Corsairs already ran because they're dummies. We're gonna do a. It's not really called. What do you want to call it? It's not called March Block anymore. Keep. It's enemy called Enemy Sighted. It's, it's more of a narrative name. I think March Block. It's like, it's like when 40k stopped using Deep Strike, we all use Deep Strike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still March Block. They passed. They rolled a nine. It is functionally just March Block. We're just going full 10 to 10. I don't care. Let's do it. I'm gonna get points here. You think this is crazy? Is this madness? If you go unsupported, it is. No way, dude. We're going to beat the crap out of them. We're black guard. We don't care. Oh, we're going to go with these guys, too, though. <laughs> we're going to send them up there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. My guys are stubborn, so they're going to make the first one no matter what. Uh, let's see if they can. Let's get him out of the way. Just, I got, I'm got. i eyeballing the... Uh, I don't want to get charged by them. What's their movement again? Seven. Seven foot stride. Maybe they can wheel. Probably can't wheel past them, eh? Get an eyeball going here. So I got 10 inches. Probably no. not. No. Okay. So I can commit to a little bit more movement. All right. So I'm just going to go full march. Probably to about here is fine. That's about an extra four inches of movement. And then we're just going to go like that. That should be okay. Uh, dark riders, however, are going to scoot nine inches over this way. They're going to dark ride over here. Ride darkly. They're gonna ride, they're gonna ride darkly in this direction. There was a show I used to watch as a young lad called Scanner Darkly. That was a weird show. I think it was Canadian only though, so hard reference to get. Just thought I'd put that out there for everyone watching though. It's Luca Facts, hard Luca Facts. All right, and then um, Dummy Wizard is gonna fly ten. We're just gonna put her there. We're gonna put her this way though for dramatic effect. I'm also gonna keep her out a little bit so I can see that way for a ruby ring if I decide to ruby ring that way. Uh, otherwise, I think we're done. Uh, I kind of like what's going on here. I like this game. This is good. I like what we have going on. Uh, shooting. Why don't we just go ahead and start with a bolt thrower, right? Oh man, come on. How tempting is that though? Oh. I just play a rusted it. Okay, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna pierce the ranks. Obviously, that'd be way. That's gotta be way more effective, right? Yeah. Here's that. One shot on a three. One shot on a three. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hey, we hit. That's gonna be twos, twos. Uh, these are all minus three, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So twos, twos. Boo, boo, boo. It should be. It's only. Five, it's five hits, right? Yeah. Five hits. So it'd be twos, twos, six, five. Threes. No, you're gonna go, go, go do the first yeah. one or two. Two twos. Wound, no wound. Uh, okay, so we got a wound, and then we have, uh, now you're at uh, strength five, four, four, so three. Three. That's a wound. And now you're at strength three, so four. Four. That is a, not a wound. And now you're strength two, and then toughness four, so sixes. Yeah. Ooh, close. Uh, so two wounds total? Uh, yeah, minus three. Sixes. I'll take it. Two dead, not a panic in two, four, six. Third one would have done it. Tempting though, I really wanted to I really want to shoot that guy, but it would it would have only been two damage, so I mean two damage. Well, you then you'd have an armor save and a ward save and everything. We're gonna do ten dark rider shots in one of those still. This is where I'm hoping to do some damage. Are they all within twelve? One guy in the back isn't. The one guy is hitting on fives, and the other ones are on fours. No. One guy's on sixes. Got double sixes. And the other ones are on fives. <laughs> because the moving and multiple shots is fives. It, oh, nice. It, okay, we got four hits on him. We need sixes to hurt him though. No, one more. You can't see him. Oh, I couldn't see it. Sixes. 
Nothing. Ooh, the sixes would have been AP three. Armor Bane. Spells? Yes, 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 yes. All righty. We're going to wind blast him. <laughs> we are going to wind blast his butt. Uh, we're going to bam. Oh, we got it with a very high roll. You can box card if you want. No, I want to get wind blast right now. All right, D3 plus three. Six hits. These are forced to wound at AP four or something. No, was that AP four? Well, because of oh, play, right, yeah, play, yeah. Rust, play Rust, yeah. <laughs> Uh, two wounds. Word save. Oy. One oh, damage. One. Done six. It's the start. It's the start. And then you give ground two inches. Fall back in good order for me. That's so how I'm going to turn to face you now. Why do you fall back in good order? Oh, because I said fly when you wind blasted. I had to fall back in good order. Oh. Is that a thing? Yeah. Is that what it says? So now I'm going to be able to charge your wizard. You're lying. I am. Look at this good ground. Um, I, I'll give you the angle. <laughs> you go ahead and do movie. Something like this. Wind blasted in the air. Eat that sucker. <laughs> All right. Well, it didn't do as much. So what do you think? Ruby? No, I'm going to Ruby bring a rune that way. If there's one wound, if I get it, I get it. Fair. And you used your faded dispel? I'm not. I got it with an eight. You just show a nine to stop it. This <laughs> Ruby ring is just <laughs> relentless. Four, eight, four is to wound. There's four of them in there. Two up. Yeah, no AP though. Do I get one? Ooh, we're good. Ooh, good. Nice armor. Nice, nice armor. I think. Sh 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 shot. Yes. I have no combats. That oh, vortexes. I should cast my vortexes. Yeah, I should so absolutely <laughs> cast my vortexes. Let's go ahead and cast uh, Arns of Falls Black Horror. I call it Arns of Falls Black Horror. That's what its name was before we get that. And we're going to do Elemental Spirits. They're both going to go. Ooh, miscast. Uh, can I use Hakari's Blessing on this? I'm gonna double check. Yeah, why not? Interesting situation. Yes. It's uh, so Hakari's blessing is a once per game rule for sorceresses where they can reroll a failed cast. The spell must fail, and this is unique because like with with this, so like with this spell, I well, there was a six and a one and a one. I still removed the one, but it's a miscast because I rolled double ones. But the spell still succeeds, so I don't get to reroll it. But we have to resolve the miscast. Well, the spell though. might succeed. Yeah, but I don't. But we yeah. I, it's beyond the point of rerolling already. So we have to do the miscast. Miscast is two d six. Maybe we'll get lucky. A seven. Seven. Uh, careless conjuration. Um, you know, you take a single strength four hit AP one, and I think the spell still goes off. If it if it says it doesn't fail, it still goes off because I technically rolled an eleven. If I take the six yeah. and the one, it's a weird interaction. But oh, sorry. Unless otherwise stated, it is not cast. So the spell is not cast. Okay. And you hit the ground. So you get to reroll this then. You take a strength forward AP1 and you reroll. Okay. Because the spell is not cast. If you want to, yeah. I think it's strength forward. He rolled a strength forward. Yeah, strength uh, forward to wound because of the Pegasus? Yep. One. The Pegasus does not give toughness, it only gives wounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, it also gives you fly 10. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Got two wounds three, left. Three to wound. Now, do you want to reroll? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, I would like to reroll. I'm curious if I'm beyond the reroll point, though. You know what I mean? Like, no, I don't think like so. There's like a step of reroll kind of thing. I will, I will let you reroll if you want to reroll. Interesting. And it says the spell is not cast. It says the spell is yeah. not cast on this otherwise stated because if you roll high enough, the spell is cast. If you roll eight plus, the spell is cast anyway. Right. Yeah. Well, I cast the spell, but yeah, just in case, I got it. That you got, you got it. Yeah. That'd be my Hikari's blessing. I guess I don't really need to use it there, but. You want, you want to not use it, you don't yeah. have to use it. No, I'll put it right over here. It just gives me another chance of something weird happening. I got to double check if that's within 15. The black horror went down first. This is where 15 is. Yeah, it's close enough, I guess. All right. Enjoy magical storms. Turn. She's really good at doing it. Turn. Right to the right to the vortex. <laughs> right to the vortex. What do you want to do first? I'll do the black horror. This one right here. This one moves 2d6 plus this. Right through you. Uh, the 2d6 is probably a little worse. Unless you roll really high. It's gonna be uh, I got a 10. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's going somewhere. Nah, yeah, it's just going to be a little farther. And then you owe me one strength check. We'll figure it out if you roll. You're good. Oh, you, are you trying five on them? The mount's five. We're going to have to be right back. Well, it's uh, use the highest on the model. So that model highest is because uh, it's one model. Um, yep. Pass. It, that's always kind of been the case. There. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, that would be yeah. the case. You, the, one of the, you can't drag the stick it out into the ground. Correct. You, you, yeah. yeah. Well, it was always funny with like uh, Purple Sun, where you do an initiative check on Stegon, but you use the Skinks the, initiative. The, well, the Skinks <laughs> pull the reins fast. They pull the reins. Yeah, they're quick. The initiative check. They're quick yeah. to act. Uh, uh, next one? Yeah. That is going to be Elemental Spirits. I should roll that one first. It's only a D6 scatter. 
You know what? That's flat enough for me. <laughs> it is literally flat in between the black card on a direct hit. It's going to stay right there, which is good for me, too. Uh, that's it, actually. That's your turn now. Well, to resolve the rest of your turn. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast a prayer. I'm going to do Hammer Sigmar on the Knights. Okay. Give me a leadership eight test. I pass. So we roll hits and wounds of one. Charges to declare. The Knights are going after the Spears. Uh, these guys are probably not. Okay. The Chariot is going to beeline it that way. Yep. And so do I want to charge that bolt thrower? Hmm. I have no idea how far he moves. What's his movement? He should be good. He has the wheel. No, I'm, trying to if, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to decide if I want to send these guys, uh, these guys the wheel all the way on over here. Mm -hmm. No, you know what? What's this bolt door? Uh, it's over 12 and I move seven. So these knights will charge the bolt door. Okay. Uh, and they will charge that and that'll be my only charges. All right, so these knights, knights on the bolt door. These guys on the uh, dark, uh, that's it. Oh, I'll, I'll hold the hold. I, I, I was debating on fleeing with them, but if I really wanted to flee with my Dark Elf uh, Warriors, I probably wouldn't have marched them even closer to you. So they'll hold, and that'll hold, and that's it. So I, you can... Slam them in. Mm -hmm. Even with even the low die and minus uh, one movement, these, these guys These knights go here, I think I need to move five inches. Uh-oh. They're in. All right, awesome. Uh, the shortest distance would be... Oh, see, this is an interesting one. Can no, I'm going to answer. answer. Yeah. It's actually going to be straight in like this, and we're going to wield a maximize... So I have to move over a little bit. <laughs> yeah, because you can't, you know, the front can't so wheel through that. them. Yeah, that looks about right. And we're just gonna... he, has to, he has to do the wheel before he aligns because he has to chill, try to maximize against his skirmisher if he has the movement to do so. I can't see the angle on this side of the table. Am I going to get them at all? Um, well, I can do this right for you. If you go straight, no, but the, these guys are going to run. If, if you if you blow right through this and keep going straight, the answer is no. But if they somehow gonna, live, then yes. This is going to turn and walk this way. Oh, stay points? No, I, I, it'll, be, it'll be faster to come out next turn. Than oh, to, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I don't know what to do with him. They're staying put. These guys are backing up. I'm going to get outside of 11 here. Yep. So it's just going to be... Gonna, I'll use this to mark it. Do I hit this again? I do. Give me another hit. Uh, that is also dangerous terrain, though, for anyone touches it. So, dangerous? Yeah, difficult and dangerous. Both. Ooh, dangerous terrain. That's the guy a, dies. That's a wound. Uh, and then D6 strength checks. Three strength checks. Just looking for sixes to fail. You're no, good. we're good. Black Horror, not great against strength five guys, apparently. <laughs> Who would have thought? I gotta figure out what I'm doing with him. Look, can you show me what I can do? Will... You could. I want to get over here facing. You want to face them? Sure. We'll, we'll be all the way around telling how much it cost. All right, so just, you can see moving off camera. I did a march block and I failed. I rolled a 10, so he didn't march, but I like this position right there. Yeah, he, and, ended, up, he ended up wheeling three or four. Yeah, he wheeled four and went forward six. Yeah. It still counts as marching, but he went as 10. Well, we're going to work the shooting. We're going to go start blasting. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in a multiple shot. Ooh, are we in 12? Oh, beautiful. So we, this guy hits on fours. So two of them hit on fours, and one of them hits on threes. It's scary. It's scary. Oh, nice near. So fours into the knights. Not bad. And threes into the knights. The master blast. Oh! Oh, come on. That sucks. And three. No, fours. Fours. Yeah, we're tough. Oh, wow. We, I, I marched my knights forward, expecting to lose two or three of them yep. to their fire. Yeah. Uh, we have one combat to do. Uh, before we get there, do you want to end any of these? I'll pop. Uh, I'm going to pop this one yeah. at the end of your shooting phase. Uh, or start of your combat phase or whatever. Yeah. So we have uh, the, cap the captain. You only do get plus one initiative here, if that matters. Uh, was I one choice? Yeah. Oh, you walk all the I way walk forward. right up to you, yeah. Uh, you wheeled back, so some of them are going to have more than an inch. Probably wasn't, probably wasn't two, though. Probably not two. So you're going to same. You're gonna be faster than me. You know what? Except for this one. What am I, initiative six? Yeah. Yeah, you, one guy, whoever, yeah, is there one guy who, oh, the Biting Blade guy. Yep. The Biting Blade guy went two, at least, for sure. Yeah. One wound. I'd say be two, right? Yep. Yep. Go ahead. All right, well, I'm going to have six, uh, 11 attacks, I guess. Can I do the knight? Do I, oh, they were all just, ah! One, two of them have to attack the... You're going to oh. kill over there. True. This, well, this guy would have, yeah, died, I guess, technically. I'll do it like that, just to show it. Anyways, uh, all the attacks on the knights, for now. Yeah, it'll be 11. See if I can hurt him. Five, 
10. Is it ever scary to charge spears? You ever feel the fear? I like it though. It should be, it should be a little scary to charge a wall. Sharpen <laughs> sticks. The king of weapons. <laughs> Two. Two? Two, three up saves. We're good. Awesome. And I have four knights fighting you, which is five attacks. Spooky. On fours, rerolling ones. And twos, rerolling ones. We kill three. Three additional. And then we have five horses on fours and fours we're rolling ones two more saves these are gonna be light armor shields okay they're fine do i double a number you uh you have 10 12 14 yeah, I six seven i got eight there you have that six, seven i have eight Oh, there's two in the back rank. Two yeah. in the back still. Yep, yep, yep. Not double out number. Not double yet. number. Okay, so combat ridges. How many did I kill? I'm just gonna roll this and see if I fall back in good order. I All don't. Right. I'm a veteran though. This so far, this upgrade's been pretty. I fall back in good order. There we go. Doesn't really matter. Uh, how much we will I follow up. Yep. And we are. You're gonna follow up. Yep. We're going five. We're gonna go plenty. Yep. This is an expensive enough unit. It's worth putting the uh, investment into. Yep. Yeah. And then while you're moving them back, I'll do my tax over here into this chariot. Uh, three of them are, that matters, is the champion in base. The champion is in base. So we're gonna have seven attacks with the lances into the bolt thrower. Hitting on uh, <laughs> threes, actually, maybe fours, but either way, I only have fours. But there. And two's the kill. They pivot. Uh, we kill the bolt thrower crew. And they're in. I can't believe it, dude. No way. I cannot believe your knights killed my bolt thrower crew. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Did you, did you hit me on threes or fours? Fours. Did you wound me on twos? Are, are you, you're probably still whipping four on them. I hate on fours, though. I, I'm, I'm hesitant because they changed my dwarf thunderers and quarters. I, I, I rolled fours and twos. You're good. Would you like to overrun or restrain? Uh, I will overrun. Roll. Let's see where. Show me where five puts me. If I don't like it, no, I shouldn't. I can't know this die yet. I can't know this die yet. Where does five put me? Five is going to put you right beside. Wait, am I like, allowed to do this? What? No, you, you, always, you always choose if you want to use split stride. Afterwards? Yeah. Okay, where does five put me then? Five's gonna put you right beside the Corsairs. Show me? Like, like, like move the unit, move the unit. Oh, yeah, yeah, How do I feel about that? They're gonna be essentially right here. I like that, I'm not gonna ask for a stride. I'll just like knock your way a little bit, boom. Well done. Uh, that's, that's it, that's my turn, so that's it. Uh, that's my turn, sorry. Well, that's it, that's my turn. Uh, why don't you go fire your turn and move this spell right away? Uh, where's the get or die? Oh, it's right here. Oh, we never moved it. We never got to the black guard, eh? Okay, funny. And it's gonna go staying still. No, it did. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna say it doesn't do anything, probably. I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check. It's like a Tyrannosaurus. There, it's like a Tyrannosaurus, you know? All right, well, it does not move when you do a direct hit, and it only affects things that it moves over or touches while it moves. So in this case, not gonna do any damage, but if Steve moves, it will still do damage. Well, you're just gonna move a chance. So it's actually even probably better, because next turn it could move in front of me. I might want to charge. I might take it twice next turn, so. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he's just gonna grab will hold me there for a turn, or I'll just take some hits later on. That makes sense. Okay, well, all the same, not too bad. I'm like a rust something? I would love to, I would love to. Uh, 21 inch range, we're gonna Plague Rust your Demigriff Knights. We're kind of giving up on the general for now. We're gonna go put pressure on them and try and deal with whatever else we can. I don't think I'm doing the best in points. I assume those guys are kind of expensive though. They are, they're a lot of points. So if I could, if I could, bull I got the Outriders, well if I got the Pistoliers and if I can get those Outriders and them, then I'm looking good. I don't mm -hmm. think I'm gonna be getting any more of this though. Unless they want to engage this stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be an interesting one. All the same, Plague Rust, we're going to attempt to cast it over those Demi Griff Knights. But before I do that, I have to do Stupidity. Mm. Here it is. This is the one. They still pass. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, let's do a... Yep, this cast that spell. Got another miscast. And this one's probably going to fail also, actually. See, this is where I should have saved my card. is less important. Miscast! Is an eight this time. This spell goes off. No on. more, no more spell casting though. Ooh, yes. that sucks for uh, that sucks for the first. Uh, spell I will attempt to. What did you roll then? Uh, it's cast at is uh, nine. It's cast at nine. I actually, you know what? I, I might not even be able to do this on the miscast, but I'll check. Doesn't it, even matter. Didn't matter yet. Okay, we got playing a rust on them, but no, no ruby. I like to play it. No ruby ring. No. Uh, oh no! I think the ruby ring. You might be good in the ruby ring, dude. Might be. Eh. 
It's one of those. I'll double check. Yeah, we'll double check that. But I'm in. I'm, I'm unsure about that. But I can't cast it. It's a good thing I didn't end it because I couldn't cast the other vortex. Uh, but that should be it. Because I'm. Oh, I'm gonna try and rally the corsairs. I guess. Oh, I so. Rally. Uh, they passed. They're back in the game. Let's go corsairs. Okay, so they're good to play. And we're gonna go ahead. Oh no, you're right. No ruby ring. I don't think. Yeah, I thought like it's I like. I thought it says wizards can't cast. There's no more casting spells. No more casting any spells. Yeah. So the the it's like essentially the winds of magic have like left the battlefield for now. We'll be back in a second, though, on your turn. Well, that does prove to be an issue, but that is why the game is a good game, because it, it takes that you... That was your, a lucky thing for me. It takes you to your comfort zone, right? It's like, oh, my wizard is so strong. And then one miscast, roll an eight. Okay, there goes my 300-point character for this turn. <laughs> let's do... Let's do... A march block on our black guard. We're a little too close to that arch lector. Is that called... It's like a lector of Sigmar? A lector of Sigmar now, yeah. yeah. There is no arch like Nine. We roll good. We roll good. I was tempted to charge with these guys, but your guys have counter charge. And the Outriders. Uh, and I would like to charge the Outriders, but they have fire and flee. Yeah. So not a great uh, option either. Well, I'm just going to march forward. My Black Guard of Nagaran. Could you show me a... You know what? Just show point. Just lock. Oh, I'm like right in front of you. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, what am I doing? Mar yeah, 10 is right in front of you. So we are just going to be like, yeah, we're just going to fight back here. I think I can take you. And if I can get those points, that'd be nice. And you're close to your battlefield edge, too, so I can keep putting pressure on you there. Uh, these guys, I don't love their position now. Uh, do they have to the march block? No. No, they don't. We're going to go probably to there. Oh, seven. Uh, let's do another one. Just to give me some options. Two, and then we're gonna go eight. No, we're gonna go six more four. Could you mark that spot for mm -hmm. me? Six there, so that's eight inches of movement. Eight, and then I should have two, six, eight. I'll still have six inches more movement. We're just gonna wheel just an inch away from them, essentially. Ah, and I can't tell if that's in your flank or not, so I'm just gonna back it up, back <laughs> it up, back it up. Mostly because I don't wanna hit those woods, you know? Yeah, there we go. I should do. I should do. And then we are going to hate the rest of this stuff, but you got me kind of blocked pretty well over here. I got to keep putting pressure away. This guy can charge up to nine. Teen. No. Yeah, 19. Yeah. Uh, he, 15. 10, oh, 15. 10 plus 6 plus 18. 3. Yeah. No, no nine, be... nine, 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 nine plus 6 plus 3. Oh, he's only fly 9? Yeah. Oh, I think it's fly 10. Okay. So we can go 18, eh? Well, we're going to try and stay out of that range. We're gonna just we're gonna march her, I guess. It doesn't, we don't really need to worry about it. She could just go back this way, and we're gonna do a big gamble by doing this. Boom! We're gonna go over there just to get away from stuff, and we are gonna hope that these guys can shoot them down. It's gonna be a hard shot, but it's hopefully gonna be worth it. Oh, she's just gonna no. I can't risk it. I can't. My guys are hitting on sixes. I gotta go back here. <laughs> Uh, 18, yeah, we're good back there. But these ones, however, are still gonna go nine over this way, because they wanna take a couple of, uh, bolt or shots at them, if I can get so lucky as to get even one of them, it'd be a panic, so. And we gotta do these stupid little checkerboard and skirmish nonsense. Did you rally your corsairs? I did, you they're did. back, they're back, baby. Uh, they're just going to reform and just face these guys here. We're gonna pepper some shots in their back. Why not? Okay, that should be it for my movement. We can go right to shooting. I like, I always like how the board clears up nicely. Get our fun little elements at the end here. I'll start with the uh, hand bows mm -hmm. from them over here. Six shots. They're quick to fire, so they don't care about the uh, moving. Yep. They're not armor vein. That's the trade off. And they're also short range. <laughs> uh, these should be fours for multiple shots. Ugh, eat bullets or crossbow bolts. Uh, two. Uh, two wounds, no AP. Oh. Oh, you got two! That's a panic! Um, we nah, passed. they're good, they're good. I'll take two, though. I'll take two. <laughs> Corsair strike again from what I thought was the after, pretty much the afterlife. <laughs> you never know, never count a good Corsair out. Okay, well, let's do these Dark Rider shots. It's gonna be heavy cover, uh, moving. So that's minus three red sixes already. Long range for seven, so I'll do multiple shots for eight, whatever. <laughs> Well, at this point, if you're hitting on sevens, might as well hit on eights. Ten. It's only ten shots. Oh, I got three. Okay, we're starting. Okay. Because of the multiple shots, I lost two of them, but we got a hit. It's armor piercing. 
Oh, it's a panic. <laughs> Come on, please, please. No! <laughs> I can't believe it worked. No, it was close though. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna play same time as you over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't love that, but go for it. Oh, uh, your biting blade guy probably goes first. Oh, that's true. He He's probably initiative seven. Uh, he hits and he's only strength four. Am I not only initiative five? Oh, uh, you're sure four, five for the spears? Oh, five for and the then spear. I forgot about the spear thing. Forgot yeah. the spear thing. And then we have Remember the lances. Like Reroll one still. And Two. three dead. I'll take it. They get the fight, though. Boom, boom. And my horses, actually. Those are after my elves, probably. Same as you. Three to six. Yeah. Three to six. That's right. Reroll ones. And fours. Reroll ones. Two more saves. Five up, light armor shields. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, right. okay. Nice. Uh, we are going to have, what was it, six, seven, eight, nine attacks back at you. Hit the dudes. Six, seven, eight, nine. Fours and fours. I keep thinking I'm a higher weapon skill than you, but I remember you are a man who swung a sword for quite a few years. Three wounds. No AP. Got oh, one. Got a guy. It's that slow grind. <laughs> That's what we're all about here. Now, did I lose combat as horribly as I thought again, or is it... How many did I kill? You killed three. Three? Two kinds of banners. War banner and closed order. Well, the war banner definitely helps. What'd you win by there? Uh, I did uh, seven. Okay, the problem is you double out number me now. So I'm gonna be breaking, and my combat res is only gonna be two, three. So I lost by four, okay. Good to know, lost by four, leadership eight. You double out number me, you got- How much just the restraint? Uh, you don't know if I break or not. I'm not oh, double fair, ones. Fair. I'm only, I'm on I'm looking for fours. Oh, double ones. We pass. <laughs> it was four. I needed four or less. You got. <laughs> I give ground. Would you like to follow no, up? No, I'm sort of strained because. All right, fair. Follow me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> follow me. Hey. Yeah, it's your turn next, I guess. I'm gonna go both there, both there, and you said restrain, right? Yeah. Gotcha. You're gonna kill those elves to an elf. That's it. That's my turn. That's my turn four. That was fast. That's real fast. I can say. I um, can... Actually, before you do that, so how many? They're below a quarter now, right? Uh, twenty. Yeah. There's twenty-one. There's five of them. That is below. They're gonna. A quarter. Uh, that's I mean, wor that, that, that only means you're, they're only worth twenty-five percent of the points. Though. I know, but uh, it might be better to go after them. But it's not. It's not I'll stay there. I'll just keep pulling those yeah. guys. Uh, this is the turn they got you, though. This I know. It could be. Guys. Could be. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna move the vortex. We go to. Well, yep. technically, it's your turn. I'm just gonna move the move vortex. the vortex. Does it direct hit again? It, it does. does. It just stays right there. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, wait for my turn. Uh, I'm going to pray. This stays on him. Oh. That's until my turn. It's not going to matter. I'm not moving. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, got, I got a different plan. I want to see if I'm in range here. Uh, it should be 12. He's yeah. turn four. I'm going to pray uh, for hammer on the um, duder. Yep. I pass. And that means we're on to charges. They're going to go there. And he's going to go there. Yep. Uh, they're going to hold, and they're going to stand and shoot, I guess. If they flee, they die. So. Yeah. Or they don't. Oh, yeah, they have terror. Oh, I got to do that first. So that's fair. Terror. Terror. They pass. And their stand and shoot is going to be fours, fives for range, sixes for multiple shots. Beautiful. Love it. Any wound will be AP one. Well, six is for multiple shots. Six again? Nothing. Mm -hmm. To no one's surprise. He's going to go. Six is good. Ooh, seven. seven plus, am I using 16? One second, knock these trees over. 16, ah, uh, looks like it. Please, 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 please. If you were to go straight, you would hit him. All right. So you'll, oh, you're going to treat this guy be the closest model. So you would just wheel a little bit. No, I don't wheel at all. Yeah, you I, just go straight I, I in. I yeah. get one model, yeah. Boo. I would love to wheel me closer this way, but Ooh. I can't. So I think I'm just going to go with something like this. It's a weird one because you're kind of hitting the side, but as we know. It's gonna, uh, while you're doing that, I'm just going to. weird in general. Wheel the face. Oh, sorry, wheel the face weirdly. And get ready for this. You can't uh, get away. We gotta keep putting pressure on this side of the table. Right over here. Uh, these guys have to block to protect. There we go. Kind of got no choice. Hope to roll well. Mm -hmm. uh, you send them in for me, and I'm just gonna. Do we need help over there? I think she might need help over here now. Ah, I won't with that. I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> it's 
hard to do math. Do something like this. Yeah, it works. That works. Uh, that's my movement. So we're gonna go. We have no shoot. Oh, we have some shooting to do. I might as well do it. I'm gonna fire into these guys here. All right. So ponderous and multiple shot. So he's on threes. No, he's on twos. Three, four. He's on fives. The other guy hits on sixes. So fives, sixes. All right. Uh, right to combat. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that was fast. <laughs> okay. the, the beak from my Griffin uh, hits. Okay. It wounds no AP. It's two damage. Okay, it's like a monster yeah. killer thing. Uh, no, that you you bite my horse and rider in half. His claws all hit and all wounded AP two. That'll kill. Was that three? Yep. All right. Uh, where's my musician? Oh, he's just over there. Okay, he's right in the right spot. Uh, my initiative will be four, so you'll be faster next to the next attack. He killed the front rank. Okay. Uh, great weapon. Uh, threes. Threes? Uh, dead. Just test the restraint. He's nope. running for it. <laughs> uh, roll it. Nine. He's off the board. He'll show up later. He'll show up. He'll fly back on from this point. And uh, that's uh, that's my turn. <laughs> Wait, it's not my turn yet. We have one more fight to do. <laughs> one more fight. You get to go first with Biting Blade Guy. Uh, threes. And, ooh, get my hand. Threes. threes. He kills two. Monster. How far did I move? Two. Two. So you're next, in, you're next for speed. Ah, uh, true. I'll have, uh, was he the same speed as me then? If you only so he's four, he would have been six, so yeah. Six, all right, so I got, I'll just have five attacks back in the unit. Hoi. And drop a couple, one wound, no AP. Can I take a knight with me? No, Ooh. not quite, not quite. I still got four knights in the front? <laughs> yes. Five attacks on fours, and three dead. And then I'll do the horses. There's only three left. Okay. That's it, you got Lance down. I'll test the restrain. I succeed. Uh, turn me around, yeah, they're in the game. Face the Corsairs, just in case. Oh yeah, face the Corsairs, just in case, fair point. All right, they are ready. And then as we go into your turn five? Yes. Why don't you move this up for me? <laughs> Please, is it gonna move? Hey, hey gravity wheel's keeping me in place. It is, it is. I'd rather you... All right, it's gonna move. It looks like it'll just go to the side of us. Woo! Yeah, so it's gonna go... All the way to there. All right. Well, you owe me four strength checks. This is it. This, this is the is one. It. Four sixes. No, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. All right, I will... Cast some spells? I'll end the spell, too, at the start of the phase, I guess, just to, just in case. I'd like can... to do Plague of Rush first and foremost. I would... Uh, they are my vision arc, but I don't need line of sight of them. Absolutely. Is there anything else I have to do? No. Stupidity. I have to do stupidity. Fair. Hey, we passed. So these guys, they are... They know how to control these cold ones. I like it. That's good. Arr, Plague, yeah, Rust. Plague of Rust. it is. This is this is the end of the Demigrass, dude. This is it. Oh, you give this, I'm, one, I'm this is the one? This is the one? This one. I'm fading this one. Oh, we got a... You need a double six. You do it? No. All right. We call that. Ah, <laughs> uh, Plague of Rust. That will be the end of them, likely. <laughs> they're still nice. They're still nice. It's not looking good, though. <laughs> uh, that's uh, charges. The, that's the only hex. So, charges to declare. Nothing over there. Not not those Corsairs, that's for sure. Uh, we'll charge and charge. Sorry. Hold, hold. Cold ones and the Outriders. Hold, hold. Dark black guard into them. Yeah, so they go straight ahead. These guys look like they're just doing a little bit of a wheel. Yeah, wheel to put them all the, there. Two and there. two, yep. Okay, remaining moves. <laughs> this is spicy. I like it. It's a good game. It's hot. It's hot. I gotta get that whip. I, get, I, I feel like I get that wizard, I win this game. So you're a flyer far, right? I think. You want to be outside of 12 if you're within 12? Oh, you're my, what did you roll? You're my suit of cast. I rolled a 16 or something. No, I rolled a 14. Yeah. Minus two. So it's 12 it, enough? 12. Yeah. 12 is enough. <laughs> I'll allow it. Yeah. It was, I rolled a 10. I rolled a 10, 6 and a 10 or something yeah, with the three days. So sure. we're going to fly 10. Just to the other side of the face. Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, go in the woods, I guess. Yeah, go show me ten in the woods. Facing. You can get all the way up to here. That's fine. That works. Just to get away from this nonsense. <laughs> we have changed our deployment zones. This is yours, and I want that. And I like to point out that we still have yet to go for this. However, if I oh! if I win all of this, they could. That's nice. Yeah. Do you want to just turn them to face that instead? I probably the ruins. Yeah, I should. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. No, these guys here, I mean, I don't care about them. Oh, okay. They're going to uh, yeah, focus on them. They're actually unit strength high enough to do it. So that's worth an extra 250 points. So they were end. already facing this way. They're going to come this way. I clear all the mission. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. She's going to, I have, this is my turn five. 
I should probably. Oh, this, this goes against the core rule of the game. What's that? Once you move a model, it's. It, you, oh, the, 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 <laughs> one in the beginning. Yeah, once you move, like, once uh, once a model's laid, it is played, kind of thing. Let me change. I'm gonna let me just. You know what? I'll allow you to do that if you'll allow me to change how I change. Absolutely, dude. That's a dumb rule. I'll never play with it. I'm gonna go ten over this way sure. instead. Yep. Just to start. I need her. Minus to, two to cast. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. I. Uh, could she have? She could have gone. Yeah, that's about as far as she can go. I'm out of your arc, right? Oh, uh, you look pretty safe. I got a widget just for this. That's where she's gonna end up. She's good, she's out of the charge arc. I'm gonna, the goal of putting her there is on, I can harass them on turn. Uh, I can put a couple vortexes down around here. Sure, yeah, for to, sure. Uh, maybe scare you off or ward you off. And then I can fly over there and ruby ring, wind blast and all that stuff. And this way I can wind blast this guy too and get him out of here. <laughs> well, not get him out of here, but you know. I know what you do, I know what you do. Wind blast, is they eighth edition flashbacks end times. Eighth, one of the worst spells in the game, easily one of the best. I think yeah. wind blast is probably the best magic missile in the game. Uh, I'm loving more, the, the more I'm learning, the more I understand the game, the more yeah. like, I love most of the spells. The magic, even the spells yeah. I hated, I'm like, oh, I'm losing them. Yeah, the, that's the thing. Like, the more you understand the game, the more you play the game. The spells are kind of cool looking and very powerful, but then if you use them right, they're oh just my not God. obviously as powerful as they were in eighth. Yeah. Uh, like you're, I think yeah. they're as powerful as eighth, but not obviously as powerful. You, well, you need in to the context of the you game. need to like maneuver well and be kind of crafty not, like, with it. Dropping yeah. units with spells anymore. That's a good no, thing. it's not. It's not yeah. like I point click and uh, get your uh, army out the table. I win because I cast one spell and I roll two sixes. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> They want to move? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sour. Uh, <laughs> they are going to go backwards two and a half inches for no real reason because they can. And they're going to shoot at these knights because I think that's where we are at. These Corsairs are going to move backwards and do six shots to the knights. And uh, it, maybe I'll kill two of them and get points for them. I killed two last time. Hit me. Should be fours. Ooh, hey, that's enough to hit. <laughs> uh, no, nothing there. You're good there. You know what? They did really well last time. I can't expect them to do that again. Spells, 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 spells. Yeah, wind blast over here on the arch selector. Minus two to cast. Yes, sir. So I get plus two in the end. I'll get it with the 13. I'll allow it. All right. <laughs> I, I already used my thing. It's going to be four hits. What's your toughness on that? Five. Three? Five, four, two, and then. Uh, two at minus two. Uh, two six of saves. And five aboard. Oh, wow. Take two. What's it got left? Uh, let's see. It starts with three. That chariot probably has four. She has seven. So five oh. left. Oh, the, oh, the chariot's only a character upgrade, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's only a character upgrade. Yeah, seven left. Five left, I mean. Five left. Wait, how would you do me? Two? Two. Six left. Oh, it's, five, it's a five wound chariot. It's a five wound chariot? Oh, it's a five wound chariot. Wait, yeah. is it add? Does it add? Oh, they combine. Yes. They combine. I forgot about that. Uh, something generally like you're just going to go boom, 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 boom. Eat that. It's in the mud. Yep, Eat yep, it. yep. All right, let's throw a couple vortexes down. Where did I put my dice? Oh, yeah, in the box. It's pronounced vortices. Vortices. I'm going to do a black horror first. Uh, we got it with a pretty high roll. I already used mine. Which is all the play rust. Uh, and then I'm just going to quickly do the other one. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, irresistible force. Uh, let me just uh, figure out where I want them to go. She's gonna conjure a couple of uh, elemental storms around these uh, arcane ruins. They're mine. That's the, the dark <laughs> elf ruins. We lost a lot of elf lives for this. It's true. We don't care about the human one. You still have a ruby ring. I do. Only target is this guy, so let's uh, throw it at him. I don't get plus two to cast. I need to roll a hard eight here. Wait, wait stop it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, my thing might only affect wizards. Um. Let's see here. Which is main? All wizards within command range, friend or foe, so minus two to their casting rolls. Oh, this is not the, the item. power level. Yeah, this yeah. Is, I, I would say this is not working. It's your item. So I you, agree as well. And that's going to be four hits. And fives. Two wounds. Uh, four armor. And five aboard. I don't think it actually worked. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're going to do one damage. One damage. <laughs> five. All right, all right. You know what? Might not matter at all anyways in the end. I don't really have it. I don't have a target on. These are just damages I can do. Uh, combat, we are going to go ahead and do... I want you to roll because you can whip it. That one. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, Any other time, I would just pull them, but... We're going to do the lances. We got four. We do have a champion. How do you fear? Champion's too far away. Oh, you do? Uh, I fail. Oh, I'm oh sure. your mind's going to hit me. Yeah. That's it, yeah. My champion's too far away to get the extra attack. He's only on support. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Riders hitting on... You're about to go three, I assume? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? It don't matter. It don't matter? It don't uh, matter. We are weapon skill three. All right. Well, we are not. We are four. So we're going to kill on twos, I assume. That'll kill three of them. Bam, bam, bam. Is there any tests for his train? Uh, I am just going to i'm going to overrun first and then try to restrain I'm going to overrun 
I'm not going to add the Swift Drive back. <laughs> and then I'm going to attempt to restrain afterwards. I mean, reform afterwards. Reform, restrain and reform afterwards, which I passed on the second one. Throw me 12 and then reform me in a logical position. I should have done the other fight first, uh, nowhere to reform, actually, but I was not smart. You wouldn't be like this. I would do something like that. This is what yes. you want. This is what you want. All right, now that's that. So we are going to start with the Dreadlord because he's got Strikes First as a base rule. So he's Initiative 10. He's got the Giant Blade, which is the Damage 2, Armor Bane 2, Strength Plus 1 weapon. Magical attacks as well, but that's a given. Threes. Okay, not a bad start. What's your toughness? Four. Threes to wound. Ah, there you go. Only one goes through, and it's eight, it, your save is reduced by two because of Plague of Rust. Yeah, let's see how many how many wounds the Plague of Rust actually mattered on. Uh, it mattered on that one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We got two damage in because of the Plague of Rust, and then my Black Guard of Nagarond have seven attacks because they only get the extra attack from the Hellbirds, like a spear, if they ever charge or it's a prolonged combat. On the turn they charge, they only get the front rank fighting, uh, even with martial prowess. So it's going to be seven attacks with them. Uh, what's your weapon skill in the Demigrist? Oh, four. So I hit you on threes. Just double-checking some of their stats. We're going to be hitting on threes here with our... Seven attacks, that's correct. Not bad. And strength four with the halberd. These are forced to wound? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, two of them. These are AP two normally because of the halberd, yep. or the, the banner of Harganeth. Yep. And then Plague of Rust. These are minus four. These are sixes. Sixes. I kill, that's it. I kill one. That's a lot of attacks not hitting me. And I wound another guy. All right. My knights are going to burn in. They're hitting on fours. Attack my black guard. Yeah, all the black guard. Yep. Uh, nothing there from the knights, but the mounts, they got lots of attacks. They do. These are nasty. These are demi grips. Uh, fours and twos. Okay. Uh, I got lucky. I got lucky uh, there. Three wounds. Uh, What's their AP? One or two? Uh, one. I got full. Two. Two. Two? Any armor vein? No. Okay, good. So I have six ups. Uh, The full. Full plate save two. I got lucky. Okay. Today, today is a dark elf day. Well, well I mean, not really, but like in this one situation, it was. Uh, you won by a bunch. Do you have stomps or anything? I do not. I do double out number you. Do you? I have 19. And you probably are. You just. I you're need, a nine. I, I need, yeah, you, you need yeah. to kill. Oh, you, you need to kill two more models. They are fleeing. Like the. Break. I will. I, I will absolutely chase them. Yes. But you do have Swiss stride though. Oh, you're, oh, you're off the table. Yeah. Well, maybe not a 10. I'm going nine. I might be, I might be, I might be okay to 10. Okay. We can measure first and decide. Yeah. I'm on the table at a 10. All right. I'm nine. I'm right, I'm right behind you one inch. <laughs> Just when you're done with that, move my guys right there too. I'm going to face this way because I might rally. Of course. You have that. Well, this stays on. Oh, you're probably not going to charge me, are you? So right to uh, my turn. I'm going to rally. You can do the spells, but I'm going to rally these guys real quick. Yep. Uh, they do rally, they do so they're rally. right back there. Why don't you move these spells? Yes, sir. Oh, I killed the banner. Oh, uh, you, you can't. You're good. You get to keep him. So, uh, Once you've done that, pass me the scattered eye. It's over on your side there. Sorry, I'm trying to get the musician down to the proper amount of wounds. Uh, scattered eye. Boom. So we're going to start with the black horror, I guess, is going to stay right where it is. That's easy. And then we're going to have the elemental spirits. They're protected. They they know what their job is, and it's to protect the arcane ruins. Sure, just declare. Uh, I will stand and shoot. Yep. Quick to fire, so I'll do at least that. That way, is there any other charges? I don't think so. No. Yeah. Two, four, six. Come on, wait, kid. Wait, wait, wait. Holding. Uh, I'll send those knights as well. I will still. I'll do the same thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we. Oh, I should probably do the math here. Fives to hit because of multiple shots and stand and shoot. Come on, baby, let's go. Nothing. All right. Uh oh. The, the guys can't fail. The guys in the woods are gonna go forward two Ooh, plus oh. seven, Four. eight, nine, thirteen. They're older in for sure. Just to make sure. These guys are gonna. Yep. So these march. Right. They're gonna wheel. Come like this. These guys have to maximize like this because oh. the other unit comes. Not gonna go that far. I don't hit the sun plate. I'll back it up a little bit. Uh, this is gonna be an issue. I'm gonna have to go like that. Yeah. Why is it bunching up like that? We're gonna turn. I love the particulars. Look at this. <laughs> I love that. I'm not gonna move any more than that. He's gonna come on and he's gonna fly about here. So he I'm like nine and then bait like minimal. No. Okay. He's basically gonna go after he's gonna lumber turn this way. Uh, so he's gonna show up there. Turn. You can't. You just have to like wheel and everything. 
Yeah. So turn them and then go forward. So he tried yeah, yeah. to move more than seven, so he moves yeah. six inches. Yep. And then um, he'll lumber that way. Yep. Now uh, I'm trying to force you to come back here. I want to get your wizard to not to go this way. What is this forcing me? Because I'm just going to fly over there anyways. What does him doing that do? I'm just going to fly more that way. Oh, that's the opposite I wanted to do. I want to fly him. Yeah, come straight nine this way. Put okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. My like, bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah you're this. right. Thank you for explaining. No, no. Uh, wheel, wheel a little bit. Yeah. So you want to probably wheel a couple, it looks like. Uh, one should be good. Yep, and just fly eight more inches. Eight more inches, yeah, yeah. Uh, eight is going to be right where that little marker is. Wee! Hello. Welcome back to the fight, my friend. So I want to force you that way, but you're still going to be safe over I'm here. still probably safe over there, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, this is your turn five? I'm just, you're okay with yeah. me just pulling them? Yeah. So the, the four-man squad restrain, uh, they actually might be running off the table. <laughs> they're, no, they're eight. Uh, the BSB squad. They're both going to restrain Reform. and turn to face the ruins. Oh, I can't stop all of them. <laughs> and then uh, your turn six. That was a fast turn. So we got uh, Vortex is going to move. Yes, sir. Please, please, please do something. Vortex, the big one. No. Oh, oh. this is why the direct hits good because it balances uh, Vortex. I'm going to... No, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, late. this one here. Oh, it's going to hit him. Oh, uh, what the, does that do? The D6, that's uh, D... Did that happen? I don't think... I don't see why not, I guess. Yeah, I don't sure. know. <laughs> like, there's probably a rule where they can't stack. There's models. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove both of them anyways. Okay. Yeah, yeah so... Like, uh, this move yet? That one is direct hit. This saves still. <laughs> so this is D6. No, D3 plus 3 strength, 4 hits. AP, AP 1. AP 1. Okay, okay. That can get them. And it might give me some points. Uh, it's going to be four hits from the Elemental Spirits. Four wounds, minus one. Four saves. Oh, I got him! I got him! Got him. Points. That's big! That's a lot of points! That's a lot of That's points! That's awesome! That's oh awesome! Oh my gosh! That's awesome! Yeah, and then and then start of the phase, I'll remove him. So let's go, wizard! Uh, charge and declare? The wizard game. I will... No, cast Plague of Rust first, if you're gonna cast it. I would love to cast Plague of Rust. Uh, the question is, am I within 21 inches? Yes, of course I am. Plague of Rust, minus two to cast Plague of Rust. So we're gonna cast Plague of Rust from the Supreme Sorcerer's back on those demi Griff Knights. And we're only gonna add plus two to this roll. We do roll an 11 if you would like to stop it uh yeah i'm fine if i stop this spell no all right I'm not we, fine but it, i feel better more confident uh i'm just gonna put over there so we, we can remember i'm sure we will remember but just in case oh, i'm definitely minus four to my shades bro <laughs> yeah yeah uh, and then charge. Oh, stupidity! Before I declare charges, is this the turn? Not yet. <laughs> just won't do it. He won't succumb to stupidity. Okay, so charge, charge. Uh, they should both be good. I'm gonna roll those cold ones just in case. Interesting. One plus one two. Are they within nine on a wheel? Maybe. They. I think they would wheel to make room for the cold ones to make it in. If you know what I mean. Like they would, yeah, yeah, they would exactly, go flush. That's exactly what they would yeah. go flush so they're gonna with yours. That way. Yeah, 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 you're yeah, exactly what's yeah. right. And then nine. I don't know if kind of, you think nine makes oh, it. Jeez, yeah. yeah, no problem. Okay. okay. I can't tell that well from over here. Yeah. The wizard? Uh, well, the wizard doesn't have a high enough unit strength to get the arcane monolith. So the arcane monolith is going to be yours. I don't know what to do with the wizard other than fly over here and try and hit this unit and make them run. No, no, Luca. If you fail, she dies. No, no. I mean, like, just go over here and hit him with, like, a fireball. Oh, like, gotcha. yeah. Show me ten that way. <laughs> It's not going to do it. All right, that's fine. Uh, that's, I don't got much. That's it. I don't have much. Yeah, bye. <laughs> I'm out of here. Sayonara, we've done our job. We killed the knights. We're done. Bye bye. Now. Cold ones. Oh, no, always strikes first. Man goes first. He's got four attacks with his giant blade. Threes to crush. A couple misses. And threes to wound. Uh, two at minus two. Yeah, so two form saves. Two Kill da one. Two damage. Boop. Kills that one guy. And then we're left with. Uh, Cold one knights is my champion. My champion's got the sword in there. Is he? Yep, he's in base. He's, so he's got two attacks then. So it should be so six of them. Yeah, seven attacks then. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, what's your weapon skill on demigriffs? Four. My four or five on these. I think only four. I was wrong. Just double checking. They're about to go five. They've all, I, th I remember them always being five, but other than like maybe sixth edition and stuff, they weren't. Because their sixth edition book wasn't one great. <laughs> but we still loved it. The are strength for it, so two's the wound. Yeah. These are like and these are, oh wow, these are minus five. And these no, are... those are only minus three. Yeah, five. <laughs> That's two wounds. Uh, and then these are minus four. Sixes. 
<laughs> so I actually killed him to a man. I just wiped the unit with the cold one. All right, so those are all your points. Uh, the next big question is, can you, any you of my units, can any of them get there? You can march, yeah, you just have to be within six. You can definitely march there. All right, send them up there, and then uh, that'll be the turn. What and we're going to do some seven, uh, calculation Are they within points. 20? Yeah, they're both within 20. So they are going to march, 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 march. This is Steve's turn six, march, march, march. They claim the arcane ruins, which inherently give 50 points, and the mission gives an extra I bet you that's points. all that matter. This that might be big. Close. That's pretty big. Well, everyone, uh, we did the math here. Uh, before, before the monolith comes into play, Steve killed 800 and... Almost 900 of my points, ish, yeah. including the one banner he captured. And then I got what? Seven. 750? Seven. Oh, it's with 50 to seven with the banner. Oh, seven. Oh, so you went on that one alone then uh, by a degree of. Oh, you know, yeah. uh, no, because it's 100. You guys have more than 100. Is it more than 100? Yeah, you're about 200 more than me there. No, I'm only 100 more than you. Oh, I, I got 900 of my points. Oh, like, nine. Like, I keep, eight, I do an eight in my head. 850 to like 900. Gotcha. And okay. then this brings, and then with this, you go to about 1150 uh, ish in points. So 1150 to my we 700. Yeah. A lot of elves. A lot of elves lost their lives this day. And we didn't even get the arcane monolith. So that is a monumental didn't, defeat. Didn't even need a wizard. Ah, <laughs> see, I love to point that out too. I again, we're, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it in the post game, but you know, we're gonna talk old world. The post game for our vault members, YouTube members, those who support the channel. Uh, we like to try to give them a little bit of extra. So that'll be the end of the game here. But if you want to sign up for the vault, you can come hang out in the podcast a little bit after. It's essentially a podcast, like a little bit of a post game <laughs> show. Uh, we're going to talk about Warhammer, talk about uh, templates and wizards and just the state of the game and all that good stuff. So we'll see you there, Vault members and YouTube members. Otherwise, that's the end of this battle report. And stay tuned for more Old World content to come, including all the other content we record here at Mini Wargaming. Happy Wargaming. See the next one.